nice to see you, everyone. (laughs) 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 Every time, every time. It's a banger every time. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the most professional Dungeons and Dragons live stream ever. High Rollers D and D. Hell yeah! So <laughs> professional, so cool, so suave, so <laughs> prepared and ready. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me this week, we have Trot, we have Kim, and on the other side, we have. Tom, and we have Wee Annan. Hello. Uh, sadly, no Katie this week. Uh, she's got some stuff that she's got to deal with, so she's not able to join us. She will be missed. Um, but uh, yeah, we will carry on. Mm. R.I.P. No! I'm no! <laughs> April Fools! It's, well, it's, it, there is a big R.I.P. in the world out there. R.I.P. Sonic. Yeah, yeah. Sonic's dead. Sonic's it's dead, guys. Sad, sad to say, guys. Sonic it's been announced. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Very, very Sonic funny. the Dash Hog. The Angel. Oh, no. <laughs> the Dash Hog's yeah. yeah, dead. The anyway, a uh, couple of quick things. Uh, well, just actually, just one quick thing this week. <laughs> oh, we love. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> uh, just please don't. share with the class. <laughs> so dumb. Just... <laughs> you can't even say it. He's dead. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog crying in the funeral. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna be crying. <laughs> he was the He'll be laughing. <laughs> I can't understand I can't. what he's saying. I literally, it's or I just hear the word Shadow the Hedgehog, and then Tom is cry laughing. Something about like Shadow crying at the funeral. Oh, that's, like, that's, like, would he? I would he that, cry? I think that is the entire point of what they're laughing at. I think Tom is losing it at just the concept of oh, Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog crying at Sonic's funeral. Yeah. Because would he? Would he though? You know, or would he be cackling? Or would I'm he glad be I real like Sonic Two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sonic and Knuckles. It's like he's that's it. Shadow the Hedgehog game, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna leave you two to it for a minute. No, because they're like putting buttered toast on the back of a cat. They're <laughs> Stop. Who does that? Constantly Come propel on. themselves. Let's control this one. They're gonna make it work. <laughs> We need to split them up. <laughs> this is the problem. When they're sat next to each other, this is the real problem. We shouldn't have allowed this. We really uh, shouldn't have. Oh, As I said, welcome to the most professional D&D stream <laughs> ever made. Uh, just one thing to mention this week, and that is merch. Go to Fresh. Merch.co. Fresh store. Fresh store. Oh, no, for God's sake, Katie, come back! Fresh store.co. Well, I said, the very first thing I said, fresh store.co. Unbelievable. Uh, you can pick up, uh, we still have our glittery dice, The Blessing, uh, that you can go pick up. It comes in a lovely scroll case. Um, Chot's got one. It becomes a dice rolling mat. It becomes a dice rolling mat <laughs> that you can enjoy with lovely glittery dice. If you need a minute, guys, just take just take a step outside. If you need it. Is this still shadow? <laughs> Holy shit, you shouldn't guys. Shouldn't have said that. That's a trigger word. They're off again. <laughs> just feel free to just step outside for oh, just a minute. We're good. We're good. We just right. get out of our systems. Grab yourself a mini roll. Have a sip we're of good. water. Bam. We're good. They're done. They're good. <laughs> we're good. Right. Shadow uh, would never cry at the funeral. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. <laughs> you keep it strong. Uh, the other oh, thing you can pick up things like I've got it on this week. This lovely wood cut shirt, part of our core collection. Yeah, boy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Trot's got the hoodie. I got the tits. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bro. <laughs> Me too, bro. bro. Um, and you go check that out. You can pick that up from our core collection. Yes. Hey, picking up merch. You know what? It's a great thing. It supports us. Uh, clears out stock as well. We <laughs> get that get that shipping and moving. Um, it helps us out, but it also you get a nice thing from it. It's like a donation, but you get something as well. Isn't that a lovely Isn't that thing? Isn't that lovely? So, and also, the you know the the Rosian dice. We're coming to the end now. You're going to need to get your mementos to remember. Get them now. Get them now. Four years of campaign. Because once it's over, it's over. Four, Speaking of five, hmm? come out to five. Yeah, with that. Five, not four. Uh, apart from that, just one other quick thing. Don't forget on Wednesdays, at the moment we are playing through the Warhammer Fantasy role-playing RPG in a little kind of micro-campaign. We're playing through the pre-made module, uh, The Enemy Within. It has been a ton of fun. Mm-hmm. It's actually yeah. a really fun game. Uh, they just met a great NPC <laughs> that everybody seemed to love, um, and it's going really cool. It's a very cool module, um, and the folks at Cubicle 7 have done a great job of like uh, you know, basically encouraging us to play it, and we're having a great time with it, so... 
come check that out on Wednesdays. Uh, if you're a YouTube member or on our Patreon, you can watch the VODs anytime, forever. For, you know, they're going to be up there forever. Um, if you want to watch them for free, uh, make sure you catch the live Twitch stream or you can check it out on the Twitch VODs as long as it's available. Uh, but, but, but you know what? Grab yourself a YouTube membership or a Patreon. You get all loads of extra cool stuff. Uh, like behind the scenes and like extra little some bits and bobs. Uh, There's going to be one coming soon. Yep. There's going to be one coming soon. Hopefully. You know, a little um, behind the scenes update soon. Yeah, and especially as we roll into... <laughs> As we roll into our next campaign, there'll probably be a lot more stuff over there as well. Um, with that, we are going to go to the Dun Duns yeah. and give these guys a very much a needed minute, couple please. of minutes. See you then. Oh, God. Don't do right. coke, kids. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Very valuable lesson. Thank you, Chris Tarot. Oh. Okay. Last time on Highlands, <clears throat> the champions of Erois find themselves in the lost sky city of Cassatoris, which had crash landed into the ocean after the delivery of Project Vanguard, a giant mechanical construct that they used to help fight the Titan Atelicus. After that great battle, they met with Callus Valkyrian, emperor of the Valkyrian Empire, uh, ruler of astral space, and a longtime enemy and antagonist of our party. But this time, it was different. A conversation was had, where Callus revealed that he had explored many of the secrets that the party had revealed to him, and had considered their words, and had come to make an offer, that they would pull back their forces in exchange for a meeting and in that meeting, a duel, a battle, to test the party, to test the characters against himself, to make sure that they are prepared to fight the great threat of Hadar, which looms ever closer. And that is pretty much where we left off. You guys have engaged Callus in battle. You have fought him. Uh, he began the battle wearing thick, heavy armor, mm -hmm. um, seemingly able to shrug off most of your attacks, even though you were definitely hitting and, and causing him to stumble and, and uh, take moments of respite from here and there. However, after a certain point, Callus uh, removed the restraints uh, that he had placed upon himself, uh, achieving his full combat potential. Just hold um, me back. Indeed, and now you face him at full strength. Uh, one little bit of bookkeeping is d, d Beyond decided not to save the encounter, so we will need to re-roll initiative. Mother uh, fucker! Didn't keep it. Damn it. Hey, this could be good for you guys. You it never could know. Be. I was the lowest on initiative. Phase two time. initiative reset. Phase two. Basically, yes. That's that's how we're going to play it. Um, uh, we also get an eight-hour rest, right? <laughs> so you are the baby. <laughs> Who's the baby, right? Yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> of all the things you need to apologize today, Ree, that's not one of them. <laughs> well, There's it's... a lot of other stuff, though. Yeah, yeah, the you... Sonic stuff, you should apologize. <laughs> yeah. Right, Lucius. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Four total? Yes. Oh, right. my God. Yeah. Quill. Uh, I got a 17. <coughs> 17 this time. Can you roll for Ayla, please? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, got plus five. And advantage, right? Yes. 
a 14 or a 20. Uh, so 25 total. No, nope, 20. Oh, sorry, okay. <laughs> uh, Not bad. Sentry. Uh, 16. 16 for Sentry and Nova. 14. 14 for Nova. And Caltrops Valcroptidon. Uh, he is uh, <laughs> Natural uh, still one. at top. Uh, Piss. He's always on top. He always is on top. Yep. Um, and I believe, uh, again, fast. correct me again, we, this might not be exactly lined up to last week. I'm just going to start us a brand new round on top of the round. Yeah, we yeah, finished. So yeah. I believe that's where we were exactly. I, 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 I concur. Uh, okay. I believe that is okay. where, where everything began. Um, and uh, as I mentioned last time, do, do apologize. This might take me a bit. This is one of the most complicated stat blocks uh, I've done. So there's a lot of stuff that I can do and I'm and going to do. He's got many stances. He has many stances. Uh, in fact, there's going to be. Uh, he's it currently. Um, to set the scene, you have like this uh, open amphitheater almost. It's not quite an amphitheater, but it's more like an open plaza with a whole section of the city. Um, what once would have been a wall that looked out onto the clouds now looks out onto the open ocean. It's just uh, space. Around you, there are several buildings, uh, almost in a curved kind of formation. There's a tower with a kind of glass dome, um, and there are pieces of rubble and broken, broken areas and stuff all around you, kind of thing. Uh, Callus is going to begin. Bye. Another one of these things. Yes. I can't remember what it was called. Dampening field. Dampening fields. Yeah. <coughs> no, get away from me. Oh, why don't uh, put that on top of that? <clears throat> so he uh, presses something on his wrist, and a uh, kind of large 20 foot by 20 foot cube square uh, appears around Callus, uh, Sentry. And Nova and the disembodied Tian Gong as well. Um, and he's going to make that appear uh, as one of his things that he's going to do this turn. I presume it doesn't affect him at all. Uh, it does not, no. Absolutely not, of course. Enemies are immune to their own abilities. That's... Of course they are. Do enemies ever <clears throat> just trip up over their own shoes? Sometimes. Not this guy, though. Sentry, uh, then there is going to be a flurry of attacks uh, in your direction. Oh, I should have time stopped and untied his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would have been affecting another creature. Oh. Not his HP. Well, I said that it, as long as it doesn't affect a creature entirely, like not would just it, HP. Would it change your opinion of Callus if you time stopped, went up to tie his shoelaces together? He's got Velcro straps. Ooh. Ooh. He doesn't know. Oh, It'd probably be more like buckles because it's boots. I imagine yeah. he has those, like, you know, like uh, new rocks. Yes. I'm just, I'm just going to make my attacks against Sentry while you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. go ahead. Yeah, those nice kind of big, sure chunky goth boots. He wouldn't have 23 Velcro, yep. would he? I'm just going to roll to see how many hits I get. I'll do the damage. Natural 20. Yeah. Magitech. On the second one. Magitech. Uh, uh, 25. Yep. Uh, 20. No. All right. That's uh, nice. <laughs> I will roll these. Uh, I'll do the crit separately. What's your HP? Uh, 59. 59. Nice. Uh, also, as his restraints have been removed, yep. he now deals extra damage. Oh, that's nice. Attack. Mm. Nice. Is he still in his uh, <clears throat> sword raised stance? He is, yeah. He's currently in a. So we have an advantage stance. against hitting him? Uh, no, he takes extra damage ah. from attacks. Specifically melee or magic as well? I'm not. Oh, you'll have to find that out. Should we, we, didn't, yeah. we didn't find that out yet. No, so you only just did that. Yeah, he's only just done that. And technically, he's moving so quickly that it's only when he kind of stops to attack that he's visible. Yeah. Um, whilst oh. whilst he's in this state, attacks against him have a, a disadvantage. Oh. He's moving very, very. But we quickly. do more damage if we hit. If you hit him, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, he deals an extra damage. So I need to do. This. We need things that boost our ability to hit. Let me have a look for you. Increase our 31 chances. points of damage from the first attack sentry. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, then the crit. Yep. It's going to be... You a crit. Oh, shit. Uh... Bless? Does Bless do it? It does. Bless can give you, yeah, D4. It's like guidance, isn't it? Yeah, D4, though. I, mean, yeah. I guess it's not bad. 53 points of damage Ooh, from the crit. Let's down. All right. Oh, shit. I mean, that, yeah. Uh, I've well, already... I'll be back on one, though, because I'm not actually... Because my paladin thingy, but I'm going to go down anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, so his. I had already rolled his attack. It's a good thing, though, because I had already rolled the attack, yep. and he had scored three hits. If you had gone down, he would have yeah. no mercy. So uh, the next one, literally, you're on one hit point, he would yeah. knock you down. So you go. Honorable Jewel, and he's just 
about to behead Sentry. Uh, so I'll tell you what he does, Nick. Can I have so the... I'm regular size and my uh, Celestial will go as well. That's bye-bye. So you watch as Sentry stumbles, this this quick flurry of slashes, like Callus bringing up uh, the sort of dormant Tiangong and these wide cutting arcs. Sentry, you know, used to being able to like defend attacks by sheer strength of like armor and durability. The blade is just hacking into Sentry, nearly cutting her apart with each of these strikes. And then as you stumble and go to fall, uh, Callus would say something like, Hadar would show you no mercy. Fight me as if I am him. And then we'll cut into Sentry, almost thinking that he's striking her as she's down, but there is this flicker of life for a second as she kind of comes to, and then he kind of cuts her down. So no death saving throws, but he definitely would have struck you if yeah. you had gone down. Um, show me none of the same. Uh, Don't add logic to this. <laughs> uh, and then that is going to be it for his turn. Uh, he's currently at max energon. <coughs> All right, uh, Ayla is going to be up next. <coughs> but that requires her to run into this field. Yes. Although, is he is he right against the wall there? Um, right against the wall of the field? Uh, he is, yeah. So uh, could she... Go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and be on the outside. Outside of the shield. I would but... say probably leaning into strike, there is a chance that she may still suffer the effect. It's a big hammer. It's a big hammer. Well... Yeah, it's kind of big. <laughs> Maybe. Um, well, so I'll make it a chance instead. How tall is the dampening field? Uh, it's about, uh, I think I said like 15 feet high. Oh, no, I think it was, feet? it was five because I was flying above. Oh, that's right. Five, yeah, it's yeah. about five, yeah. Um, it's more on the ground, but there is <clears> enough height of it that it would strike. Yeah, well, sure. I think she would think it's fine to do this, so... Um... Okay, um, so before you make the attacks, because the field might affect them, uh, she would first gain one stack, um, if you guys have any notes on those. I'm just going to put Ada as one stack for now. Cool. Um, and then can you make a wisdom... Uh, dexterity saving throw first. Dexterity for Ayla plus To see if the actual five. field's effect will take uh, place. This is an effect she can see, so she has advantage. Yeah, nice. Uh, that is... A natural 20! Oh, She's cool. quick enough with the field. The hammer passing through would still trigger the, the, the Magitek field effect, so it does kind of coat the hammer in some of that energy, which is the stack. Sure. But she is quick enough that she doesn't put enough of her body to trigger the slowing effect of it. Um, so you can make attacks as normal. Cool. Uh, oh, both attacks just as normal. Yep, yep. Nice. Um, now, disadvantage on these because he is moving very quickly. Yes. All right, well, the plus hit, 15 to hit. That is a natural one. So 16 on the first one. Uh, 16 is not enough. Uh, Too quickly. And she has two attacks, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and as a note for people at home, uh, specifically not recklessing because Katie requested it. 21? Uh, 21 in this state will hit Callus, yes. Okay. And that's a d10 plus 9. Uh, and what, what bonuses for damage for hitting them like uh, this? Plus 5 extra damage. Okay, so plus 14 to this. Uh, 15. You roll a one? I roll a one! Uh, the rage damage isn't included in that, so I think it would go to another four, so 19, I think. Because uh, it's not included on the hammer damage. Oh, plus another d6 as well. Oh, yeah. Please do. Um, one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 20, 20 points of damage in total, though, with the yep. rage damage bonus and uh, the extra from the high, uh, high guard. And I suppose a uh, deck save as well? Uh, for the... Not quite. Uh, attacking whilst he is in the high guard stance, uh, Ayla would take uh, oh, yeah. uh, takes ten really slashing damage. Uh, I can do that. Don't worry about yeah. that. Uh, it's only five to Ayla anyway. Um, and then bonus action, I make a deck saving throw for her aura. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be now he's in his higher speed form. So he does get Probably has to more decks, right? Yes, he does. That's going to be a twenty-one. Twenty-one, which I believe is a pass. Uh, Storm Aura, yep, yeah, it's a pass, so half damage, 3d6 lightning damage, here it comes, crack -a pow wow, uh, that's seven, so three damage. Good, lightning damage. 
So Ayla, kind of the first strike, missing because of this enhanced speed. But on the backhand, Kamos almost is not quite expecting Ayla to be able to use this hammer as deftly as she can. Almost maybe thinking the Magitek field is going to slow her attack down. And it does catch him just slightly off guard. When it connects, um, he stumbles and he loses that burst of speed. And so he is now oh. uh, back to his normal speed. You no longer have disadvantage. Anymore. So basically, the first attack against him cancels it out. Right, so okay. It gives him disadvantage against attacks until he is hit. Nice, okay. Uh, end of Ayla's turn. Uh, end does that of. Reactivate at the end of this turn. You don't know. You do not know yet. Can we ask him? You can ask him, yeah. Is that coming back? Uh, <laughs> end of Ayla's turn. That was really fast. Yeah. You... Uh, yeah, in the veins turn. All right. In that case, uh, he is going to um, spin the blade and using the kind of magic field around him, he's going to conjure two vortexes of energy as he uses Ooh. Gemini Vortex. Okay. Uh, and he's going to place one to go this way. You're down, right, Sentry? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, one this way. So it's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, through so it's going to pass Nova through Nova well. and Sentry. Um, Sentry, you're going to take one automatic failure yep. on your death saving throws. It's not two, it's just the one because it's just damage. Um, but you're going to automatically fail it. And then Nova, I need you to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> so strong. Who's that one? <clears throat> 13. 13 is not enough, I'm afraid. You're going to take... Oh, luckily, terrible damage. Only eight points of slashing damage, but you do gain another stack of Magitek Field. And you and Tian Gong. Actually, no, you're not. Sorry. Does Tian Gong take damage? Uh, no. I, feel so I mean, I could do it. Would you like it to take some damage so it vanishes? No. I don't think you did. <laughs> uh, didn't think you would. Um, it doesn't pull people with it, does it, that vortex? Uh, it would, but Nova's already next to it, and then Sentry would get pulled. Actually, you're right, thank you. Bye. It's pulled five feet that way. Um, cool. All righty. Uh, this drone, the, sh the defense drone, I should say, I'm just going to hop her here. Uh, who has any active like buff spells on them? This guy. Uh, okay. I've got a uh, shield of faith. Prismatic master as well. Prismatic, that's not a spell, it can't, that's just an effect. It's not a spell that you cast on yourself. So you've got shield of faith on your quill? I do, yes. What level did you cast it at? Uh, just the base level, I think it's level, level one. Level one, I think. Uh, yep, level one. Uh, so probably gone already. Would still go, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I did roll badly, but with its bonus, uh, I just managed to beat it as it dispels magic. Okay. It flashes for a moment. Um, and you feel it kind of pulse, um, and not quite like a ripple, but it sends some sort of projection of energy, and you feel the spell break around you as if it had been dispelled. Bah, I say. Bah. And then it's bah. your turn, Keelik and Kolar. Um, okie doke, okie dokie do, okie dum dum dilly doo doo. Okay, doo dilly doo. <laughs> uh, I would like to fly. Uh, until I get within 30 feet of Ayla. So... Okay, so still out of... If I was to land, I'd still be out of the um, yep. thing. And above the vortex, right? Yep. Cool. Um, and I'm going to do a mass cure wounds. Um, yeah, boy. Which is going to be 3d8 plus 6 to everyone. Okay. Uh, what level are you casting it at before you roll? Oh, fifth level. The d the shielded drone camp spells. Motherfuck. It senses magic being cast in its proximity, and <laughs> as you try and conjure the energy to heal, it dissipates. Which it. drone did that? This is this drone really next to Will. And it has one of You can tell, yeah, there's two. One of them has basically a cannon on it. The other one seems to have like a crystal in like That's a casing right. beneath it. Okay. And those rolls, they're um, uh, a success. After. I roll, I roll, and it's plus its ability score modifier. And if it beats DC ten plus the level of the spell, it counts. Spells. Yeah, okay. So it's not against me at all. Yeah, it's yeah. not against you. It's not a contested roll. It's against the level of the spell. Son of a wee wee. Yep. <laughs> uh, I, I will point out it only just made the DC again. Yeah. There was um, a chance. There was a there was a good chance it wasn't gonna. It, it, you know, it was a you know not good odds, but dice dice favor. I rolled ten. 
maybe. If a drone uh, sucks me off and I can't cast a spell, can I still cast a spell since I technically didn't use a spell? You did cast a spell. No, you yeah, used okay. your action to cast a spell. The spell slot is gone. It was counterspelled. That's, um, right. that's full piss and shit. It is. Uh, in that case, I'm going to harness divine power as a bonus action. Um, and... You fought yeah. a seed of Hadar before. You know it can consume magic. Thanks! <laughs> he is teaching us. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. He, there is an arrogance of like, yeah, like I am, you know, preparing you for this yeah. fight. I know the tactics that you're going to go up against. Uh, end of turn, Quill. I hate that. Fuck, I hate you, right though. Uh, that's that's my turn. I regain a third level. <clears throat> Callus is going to use this to opportunity strike dash strike. Oh, I teleport behind me. Nothing personnel, kid again. Nothing personnel. <sighs> <kid>. <laughs> He's going to hover up in the end. He's going to make a dash strike against you, Quill. This is a powerful strike. Attack. Oh, powerful. OK, yeah, that's good. Uh, this is like he basically, I'll tell you what it does in a minute. If it hits, uh, 34. Ye that's, yeah, no, that's exactly double my armor class. Uh, <laughs> you're going to take 16 points of damage. And I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Strength save? <laughs> no chance. 11. So he teleports up behind you. Um, I'm not going to let you heal Sentry. He grabs you and he throws you to the ground. Like he literally oh, throws shit. your wings yeah. um, and he's going to slam you into the ground. You're only five feet above the air, so he doesn't. He like teleports behind you, grabs you, and then. But within the range of the this, uh, I guess I'm prone as well, right? He does knock you prone. That's it. That's the effect is he knocks you prone, but it. And knocks next you to this, yeah. this blade of vortex. Potentially. That's cool. Uh, That's cool. Sentry. I, I'm happy to receive it. Nine on the death save? That's another failure, I'm afraid. My, my initiative's so low. Rockin'. Nova Vigia. Hiya! Hiya. Oh, shit. This is it. This is the roll. So when the as this fight's going on, you are being blasted by this vortex of energy, but you were locked in place as, uh, you know, this echo, your own sort of echo of Tiangong is, in, like, engaged in almost like a... Uh, a battle of will and strength against Callus's version of Tiangong, and you're kind of caught in the middle of it, focusing your mind and your energy uh, in this battle of wills. And I believe we had done this as a best of three contested charisma check. Mm -hmm. You have won one, Tiangong has won one, which means that this role will decide. <laughs> I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Yeah. She's worried. Give us some space. Give us some space. So it's a charisma check. D20 plus charisma modifier. Okay, so it's not a saving throw. It's not a saving throw. It's an ability check. So if you had any abilities or effects or spells that can affect an ability check, they might apply. That might be affecting the rolls. Um, I don't think I am. I'm going to hide my bad roll. Get your dice. bad bit. Uh, I'm going to put... Bad vibe dice get out there. It's a contested roll. I have to roll I'm as well. I'm going to put this dice near it because I know that's that's primed. And it will prime yeah, everything nearby. Up last time. Th that's because she cursed it. Okay, get all my dice out of it. Okay. It's been a really long week, Mark. Yeah. But this is it's the fate of dice, dude. The dice tell the story. Three, two, two one. one. She hasn't said anything. That's not a natural one. <laughs> but it's very shit. I rolled a nine plus five is a 14. It's a 14. It is a contested. It's higher than a three plus six for a nine. Oh! Oh, yes. oh. oh yeah. I'm never looking. Sometimes at you don't need to roll high. You just need to roll the highest. Oh, yeah. we're, we're high rollers. I think you always need to roll high. So, don't say that. in this brief moment, everybody but Nova. You know, perhaps you're all too focused on the battle, seeing Sentry go down, Callus suddenly appearing, slamming Quill, preventing the healing spell. Most of you wouldn't notice, but Nova, you do. You watch as this kind of, this shadowy, echoey form of your Tiangong, which looks mostly like you, but this kind of androgynous, ne nebulous astral form, locked in hands with a version of Tiangong that is not like you. It is humanoid, but it's not like Callus either. And still androgynous, but different, more muscular, um, no hair, completely bald, um, wearing just basically almost like a cape, but that's the only clothing it has on it, and the rest of it is just this blue, 
space-like but not quite the same astral nebula as your version and they are locked into a contest with each other like almost pressing against each other above you what do you do how th this almost seems like a stalemate you're not sure that like you're not sure your Tiangong is going to win without your influence so what does that role that success of yours look like as you're trying to manifest your will you were trying to merge the memories if I serve if memory serves you were trying I just to... I wanted to fill them with every single memory and mm. emotion that I had from my time with Tian Gong mm. <clears throat> to try and show them what what Tian Gong was mm. and the connection we had together mm. I guess and not she probably didn't even have a higher motive she just wanted to to show them this is what your other half was. Mm. And I guess maybe in that last minute, she would think of the last time she saw Tiangong mm. when they descended into the magical vortex together. Mm. And in her heart of hearts, she didn't want Tiangong to go. You know, she wanted them to live and survive and become the leader they are. Mm. And it's just that raw, sadness and grief but understanding mm. that we were together and everything we do is together mm. i think that there's a moment there where you know those memories they're the things you're thinking of but there's also a whisper of a memory again this isn't tiangong this is an echo this is a, a remnant a shade of who they were but there is still maybe a piece of a fragment of memory from that same moment of your regret and not wanting them to be there to go. And then their choice to take your place. Mm. And then the two of you deciding to go together. And you watch as your Tiangong, its hands almost seem to blend and sink in to the other one. And you watch as it looks, they look at their own hand as your echo merges into the body. And that pale blue, the cape, stays the same, but now almost like a very short version of like your hair almost seems to kind of like come in. The features become a little bit more Ganassi, but not fully. It takes on a starry appearance, but now blue and azure, like a night sky captured in the ocean. And they become one, like merging together, and you see it almost straining against it, and then it sort of looks down at their hands. Nova Vija, we remember you. And it looks to Callus, who now, like, sort of hovering above Quill, glances over and kind of cocks his head, looking at it strangely as if maybe in telepathic communication or, or noticing what is going on. We do not wish to fight. This is wrong. Emperor, this is wrong. And they just float away. We must think. We must... Tassadar, the others. We must see them. It vanishes. <sighs> that's gonna be your action, Nova. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take, that's gonna be most of your turn. Unless there's any movement <coughs> you would like to, I'd say no bonus action, but movement you're, I will give you. No bonus. No okay. bonus. Um, I will move out of this dampening field because uh, it's only 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 just stepping the other side of it, but away from that vortex. Yeah, you are going to start in the field, so you will take one stack of magic tech field, yeah, got and I do need you two. to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, so you'll go up to two, or if you've got if you've already had two, you'll go to three. Uh, 13. 13. You are going to be half movement. Obviously, mm -hmm. when you step out of the field, that effect ends, but for them, it will, you know, you'll mm -hmm. use up 10 feet of your mm -hmm. movement, basically, to get out. Um, and then, yeah, you'll gain a stack of the effect as well. So you'd like to step out? Mm-hmm. So where would you like to go? Yeah, just there. Like, not too yeah. far, because yeah. I saw So you've I got, like, another the... uh, 10 feet of movement if you'd like to go here. It, well, it's more that I saw that it had another effect. Like, if you went too far, if you moved too far, I can't remember exactly. Uh, no, it, it's if you start your turn within a thing, it will try and pull you back. In, in which you move case, more than yeah, 15 feet. okay, I'll move up to the limit. And yeah. yeah. So I think you can go up to here. <coughs> yeah. All right. Um. 
kind of want to say something, but I don't know if this is Kim or Nova speaking. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I want to look at Callus and... Yeah, I mean, he's looking. He doesn't seem mad. He doesn't seem angry, but he's, like, oh, curious. You should have held on tighter. Perhaps. Perhaps it is merely a case of... Huh. Something else. I never wish to control Tiangong. We work together. But perhaps you have shown that there were different ways. I only ever wanted them to be complete. I only ever wanted them to do what they wanted, to serve a greater purpose. That's all that's going to come out in six seconds. I mean, you can, you can respond, but that's what Callus is going to say. Uh, all right, end of turn? Yeah, end of turn. Okay. Um, I hate to say this, mm-hmm. but seeing that you are now free and potentially a threat, that little gun drone mm-hmm. is going to turn once to you, Nova, and <coughs> it's going to look towards uh, probably uh, Lucius. Uh, its first attack is going to be towards you, Nova. <laughs> Uh, that is only going to be an 11 to hit, though. Does not. So you manage to kind of leap to the side as it fires out this almost uh, almost like energy kind of disc. Uh, you've seen this attack, Ayla, once where it's like a tethering attack. It kind of like links you to the ground, like a gravity kind of connection. And the other one at Lucius is going to be a 23 to hit Lucius. Are you waiting for my response? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might... I can't, I can't keep all of your abilities. You might have, like, shield spell and stuff. I can I never remember. So I didn't think so. It's going to be eight points of force damage. Really However, sad. until the end of your next turn, any spell you cast, uh, the effect is halved and the DC is reduced by four. Oh, my this God. This is a spell suppression shot. So as it kind of attacks you, it almost, like bind your hands together with like a gel and you feel this like damp and like almost like sucking the magical energy out um, until the end of your next turn. So the... Any, uh, so like damage is halved. If it has a duration, the duration is halved okay. and the DC is reduced by four. Okay. And that's until the end of your next turn. All right. All right. Which is now. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, I'm going to use two sorcery points to quicken a spell. Okay. Um, doesn't have DC. I'm going to cast Wall of Ice. Okay. As I'm sprinting towards Sentry. Okay. And I'm going to put us in a wall of ice so, dome. Yeah, so it halves the effect, so you can have half of a dome. So it'll be like. It basically half the like size. it halves the I'm, size. I'm just covering me in Sentry anyway. Yeah. So, so you want to put it like sort of like this, or like where? It's just a, it? Like between you and basically Karis, cutting off the vortex. So okay. I can't attack yep. her anymore. Yeah, just shielding so yep. that I can try and stabilize. <laughs> I'll be inside the dome as well. So you can do like ran in that, and just basically. cast it. Yeah. And then... So you will move into the field if yeah. you want to be next to Sentry. So that would be uh, one uh, stack of Magitek field. Um, and I need you to make a DC uh, Wisdom saving throw. Huh, natural one. You, As you move into it, you feel your movements become sluggish and you become under the slowed uh, effect. Slowed okay. spell. So I can't do bonus section. Uh, you know, uh, God, I can't remember. Something like that. But you've already used your bonus action this turn anyway, so. Uh, yeah, I did before I entered yeah. the field, technically. It's like no reaction, then you can do only an action or a bonus action. Yeah. Okay, my action is to try and stabilize Sentry. All right, make a medicine check. Uh, you also have a penalty to AC. Uh, you can use an action or bonus action, um, and you can't make more than one melee or ranged attack. Oh, and that's as much for you. 16. That is a stable, that is a, that is a success. You are no longer Ooh. dying, but you are not up sentry. Okay. You are on basically zero, unconscious, but not not dying. Thank you. Yeah, I feel the, the matrix, uh-huh. and I use my prismatic energies to kind of love it. Defib, almost. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like, you know, sol- solidifying it. the connection, yeah. basically. Oh, cool. All right, end of turn. End of turn. And we jump back up to... The Emperor himself. Oh, God. What are you thinking? Oh, we got wiped out. <coughs> no, but when does it, like, reset? Oh, you have to just be out of it, and at the end of every turn, you lose a stack. Every so time. I think, yeah. He's going to drop to the ground next to Quill. 
and the wall of ice. And he is gonna kind of run his hand along the now dormant. The, the blade that was Tiangong always had this like blue purplish kind of glow to it. Now it's like flat gray. Still seems to function as a weapon, a physical weapon, but is now just this dull, lifeless gray. Um, and he's gonna run his hand along the blade, uh, almost coating it with his own sort of magitech field. And then he's gonna bring it and perform that line attack, the sweeping plasma cutter. Uh, the wall of ice has HP, right? It does. So that's gonna be relevant to this because if it if it breaks through the, the barrier, what I'm gonna do is it's gonna do damage to anybody beyond that, but it will take off the wall of ice's HP first. It will like break through that 30. remaining damage depending on saving throws. AC 10, no uh, 12, sorry. Wait, it's also hitting me? Yes. Uh, so uh, <laughs> this is a 15 foot wide, 30 foot long lion. Uh, it must make a dexterity saving throw. Um, Sentry, you automatically fail this. Yep. Uh, Quill, you are prone. Actually, no, I don't. I'll just let you make it normally because you can also fly. So, Quill and Lucius, I need you to make dexterity saving throws. Okay. Hmm. Eighteen. Thirteen. Uh, unfortunately, both of you are going to fail. So, Quill, you're on the outside. Uh, so you're going to take <laughs> just get this. pinned against. The... <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> just see I me put you in flat that against the ice. <laughs> oh, well. Um, what's the minimum amount of damage this spell can do? I'll tell you in a minute. Because I need to do it for everyone. Uh, hang on. Oh, this is going to be like, is it Star Trek? A box behind a, a wall? Glass. Luckily, rolled very badly on the damage. Uh, so, Quill, you're going to take Quill, 20, yeah. 29 points of force damage. I'm down. Okay. How much How much HP does the wall have? The section of the wall? Hmm? How much? 30. 30. It absorbs all of it. So, Sentry and Lucius take no damage, but. That wall is destroyed and it leaves behind the mist, right? Now it's an igloo. Yeah. So they're just destroyed by it. It does it leave took, a mist, yeah. yeah. It took 29 damage. Uh, huh? It took 29 damage. Well, I guess it would have one point. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's still there. Really That's true. cracked. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. And it's coated in Quill's blood. Very true. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked. Uh, that, was, that was only part of his turn, by the way, unfortunately. <laughs> um, he has more. Yeah, uh, he will kind of uh, look at the ice wall <laughs> and be somewhat annoyed by it. Um, Poke. So yeah, I think he will literally just with the sword um, and destroy two pieces of the wall. Uh, yeah. And then for his last thing, he's going to fire a force blast at Ayla. Oh. Uh, that is only a 19 to hit, which I believe misses Ayla. That is a miss. Yeah, so she manages to dodge to the side of it. Um, great. Good shit. Uh, and then that is going to be the end of his turn. Ayla. Uh, um... Very good. Ice wall. Tip top. Let's try to think how we could do some healing. But that's good. Oh, yeah. I mean, literally you, you literally good. protected them from yeah. those attacks. Death. Sentry probably would have died. Hell, death save. Sick, save a life. Exactly. What a hero. Hell yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering if Ayla would go for Starbane himself and try and distract from the dying quill underneath him, or go for the magic sucking robot behind him. What was the shield it did last time? It was a shield against a spell, wasn't it? Uh, no, so far. I mean, quill is unconscious, so... This is Ayla asking. This is Ayla? Ayla yeah. can make an arcana check. Oh. I'm just wondering if it was a physical shield or, or... Minus one? Oh, yeah. She knows it. It's eight. <laughs> she has no idea what that thing does. Uh, I mean, either way, if she runs towards Starbane, I think she's within 15 feet of this thing anyway, so... Uh, is probably going to find out regardless. Uh, hey, WWAD? Go Ava for Starbane do? or go for the bot behind him? Is there a, a multi-attack? She's got two attacks. She has got two attacks. One of each? Yeah. One of each. Yeah. The bot first. Bot first. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, she'll yeah, she'll run towards. She runs up, no problem. Great. Uh, so depending maybe leaping on... off the wall. Yeah. yeah. So Hell I was going to yeah. say, if Ayla moves up to where she can strike both, the drone will technically get a bit of cover. Um, she Not if she leap over the wall jumps. Enough. Yeah, sure. I'd jumps say and then brings the hammer down behind her on yeah. top of this thing. Yeah. Barbarian easily enough doesn't even need to make a roll. Just she kind of like car slides over the wall. She oh, runs through the hammer. wall. Sure. <laughs> um, 
Okay, uh, against uh, shield bot. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> that is a, oh my god, 18 with a plus 15. Uh, 18 to hit the drone. Yep. Hits. Oh, okay. Um, Did you roll three? A three. <laughs> Oh my god. So that is a... Oh, better, Thomas. I know, I, I, it's not me, it's Aylo. Oh, I believe these drones had taken some damage. Uh, D10 and D6, that is a... Ooh, a six and a nine. Nice! Nice. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so just don't take off the lightning damage, just the normal hat. Oh, lightning doesn't do anything. There is no lightning damage, I'm afraid. Yes, 18 damage then. Is that oh. with the plus four from Rage? No. Uh, so 22 damage. 22. But that's not including the plus five against Callus. That's just normal damage. Plus five. No. Okay. That's just her base. Just her base. Um, yeah. So yeah, with one big swoop, the the lightning courses over the drone doesn't seem to have any effect whatsoever. It is immune to lightning. But the hammer blow itself like dents the kind of thick plate armor, uh, cracks part of the crystal, and you can see it kind of uh, hovers in place. Man, um, I really want second Ayla. attack against Kallus. I really want Ayla to just grab the drone and spin it into Kallus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But if you want to do that, you can try and do that. Improvise attack. Sure. Well, I'd say you'd have to make a grapple check against the drone as part of this attack. I will try and avoid it. I'm going to do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Captain America shield. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so give me a uh, d20 uh, plus athletics. Plus athletics, mm -hmm. which is a plus 13. She has advantage because she's raging. High enough. 24. Yep, it's a success. Oh. Kind of like slaps it and then grabs it, uh, you know, probably dropping the hammer temporarily and then grabbing this drone in both hands. It's like trying to pull away. Um, and then I'd say, yeah, make a... It's got a steel chair! Make an unarmed, <laughs> oh my God. Make an unarmed strike against Callus. Broke him in half. Uh, unarmed. <laughs> arms <laughs> strike plus God, 13. 30. He's <laughs> still going to hit, yeah. Uh, he doesn't yeah. have his disadvantage on at the moment. Um, so this would be... I would say it's technically an improvised weapon, I'd say, but it's also Ayla being cool. Do a D6 plus her strength and rage. D6 plus strength and rage. So plus four from the rage and then whatever her strength mod is, which I think is plus seven. Seven, so plus 11 to this. Plus 11. Just roll another one. That's my good dice, that's gone. Six. <gasps> Not so, 17. 17. I'm going to do that damage to both Callus and the drone. Nice. Oh. But I'm going to say the drone gets free because as it kind of slams into Callus, it kind of pulls away. Out. It's still okay. It's still yeah. fine. It's still up. Yeah, it's, it's damaged. You can see it like. <laughs> um, but it's still still thing. It's it's like, Callus kind of gets. Like, <laughs> and it's like, and Callus is like, looks like he was about to maybe strike down and then he's like slammed in the back by this Hell thing. Yeah. Um, we'll saved we'll see what two he does. heroes now. Yeah. yeah. I'm, well, I'm hoping, yeah. Um, and that would have been her... Oh, she would have taken some damage from moving more than 15 and etc. Um, because of the one stack of dampening fields. Okay, yep. Um, she takes four points of force damage. Thank you. Do that as well uh, for me, She thanks. also attacked Callus while he's in his high stance. Yeah, I've got it, don't worry about it. She's going to take another 10 slashing damage, half down to five. So Callus kind of gets slammed in the back and like with lightning quick speed, spins and plunges the blade, kind of cutting along her arm. Um, All right. Um, anything else? And it's immune to lightning, but Starbane isn't. So a dex save from him. Well, that's it true. It might still, he'll probably pass. Uh, natural one. Oh, okay. So 3d6, that is seven, nine damage. Nine points of damage. Uh, yeah. Nine okay. points of damage. And that's the end of the turn, correct? That is the end of um, the, uh, yeah. Ayla's turn. At the end of Ayla's turn, <laughs> Kallus can use one of his legendary actions to replicate a spell. Um, oh. And he's going to uh, target uh, Ayla with like a thin beam of force. I need Ayla to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's nine. Nine. Ayla is paralyzed. Cast hold person. Oh. So you just watch as she like, ha ha, smacks him and then kind of picks up the hammer and then he... <sighs> Very syndrome from uh, Incredibles, and she's just uh, locked in place. Um, balls. Uh, okay. The drone. Danger. Yeah, it just flies as far as it can away from Ayla, and that's the end of its turn. Nice. Uh, Quill, you are unconscious, oh, yes, sir. Death save from me. This is a death saving throw from Quill. It's happened once before. That 20, I can feel it go. Yeah, this one's primed. 
Oh my fucking god. No way. <laughs> it actually it's is. What the <laughs> fuck? It was the primed dice. He leaves it there. He rolls it for the big rolls. <laughs> What the hell? I can't fucking full believe believer. this. I'm a full believer. So <laughs> eye winks open. Fucking Hesper's wind is back again. <laughs> yeah. Hesper's gassy. Give yourself uh, yes. three successes there, my friend. Holy Put yourself on one shit. HP. Amazing. What the hell? <laughs> this one's primed. Boom. <laughs> Done. Oh, I'm gonna. What's the opposite of a dice jail? <laughs> dice pedestal. You gotta leave it primed. Make sure it's on twenty. Oh, I shouldn't touch yeah. it. I'll, I'll yeah. touch it. Um, so this drone your can full still. Turn, so the start of your turn. This drone can still suck up my entire spell. You can make an Arcana check to try and work out what this drone does, sir. As always, you can scan it for its mechanics. Just a freebie there. Yep. It might be out of range. Might be. It depends if it's actually using the spells as mm. per the spells. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, Count spell is 60 foot range as well, I think. Arcana is a big. huge 13. <laughs> 13, yeah, based on what you've seen so far, it has some magic ability to dispel magic and counter spell of some sort. Exactly how, like, what its range is and stuff like that, you don't know. But it doesn't seem to have any other abilities. It just seems to almost just be this kind of uh, anti-magic drone. Farty pooper. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that there is also a sort of um, sort of field around it. Yeah, uh, I saw one of Lucius's spells dissipate around it. Yes. Ah, and you're stabilized now, right? I still yes. should bring you back, really. You're I still will. Dribbling a bit. What are you doing? You want, boo? I'm going to use my. Wand of Magic Missile. This thing looks really fucking... I want to get rid of this thing, basically. Okay. It's, um... No, I don't. No, do I? I want a Thunder Wave Starbane as well, though, you know? You tell me what you want to do, boo. Uh, I'm going to use my Wand of Magic Missile. Nice. Okay. All seven charges. At? At the drone. I can't do drone until dead and then rest on Starbane, can I? No. Until... At all that drone. Okay. What spell? What level spell does that make it? That would make it a one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You may roll damage. The field seems to try and rebuff these magical missiles, but the sheer number of them overwhelms whatever field is around it, and it does pass through. Uh, seemingly, the more powerful magic it is not able to. Redirect. It does have a limit. 94, 94 makes a 23. Uh, plus, is it plus? Oh, plus one for each. So 23 plus 9, 32. 32 points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you get it's three and three oh, three at the start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you watch as all these magical missiles slam into the drone, which is now sparking and struggling to stay aloft, but it is still up. Son of a fuck! <laughs> uh, I mean, I have to bring back Sentry. I know I'm on one, but I'm going to use my bonus action to do a cure, whatever bonus action is. Healing word. Healing word. That's the one. I'm a healer. What level are you? <coughs> yeah. Third. Third. Yeah. Fails. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I failed to dispel. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I failed to count spell it. I rolled a two. Oh, God, uh, so it does go off the third level healing word. All right. Uh, this is on sentry. You get. Oh, thank you. Four. Four. Three. So eight. Eleven, 11 plus wisdom. something. Uh, Eleven plus. Wisdom. Son of a bitch. Your wisdom modifier. No. What's your wisdom modifier? No, I'm going to read it from here. Six. Seventeen damage. <laughs> Seventeen healing. Nice. <laughs> Not damage. <laughs> Awesome. End of turn? End of turn. I should Palace. stand up. You can stand up if you like. I like to stand up. <laughs> That'll please. help. Okay. It'll stop him from getting advantage against me. Uh, you do. You did start your turn technically. I should have had you roll against this vortex thing, but I'm not going to worry about it. I stand up <laughs> because really Callus is going to use his legendary action. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a 32 to hit. Yeah, okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just 
put myself to zero yeah because he's yeah. gonna grab you and then he throws you uh five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty over here. Into the drone? He, yeah, but, well, into the, the wall next to the drone. Aww. He, like, picks you up and he's just like, you're more, uh, he would say, like, you're tougher than I thought, Kilek, and then <laughs> against this wall. Um, just watches as you like, yeah. Ugh, Shatters um, all your hollow bones. Yeah. I'm tougher than I thought as well. Sentry. <laughs> um, I'd like to get up, please. All right, you like, do like, start in the magitech field. Yep. So you gain one stack. So I can only do the one thingy majiggy. Uh, well, you have to make a wisdom saving throw. If you're, are you already affected by slow? Have you made that saving throw yet? Uh, yeah, you've made no, it. Yep. I've so down. wisdom saving throw, no. please, because you've been down. Nineteen plus twelve. You are not affected by slow. <laughs> you are resisting. You do get the stack of the field. Hell yeah. But cool. So any like, if you take multiple attacks, if you uh, use a bonus action, or if you move more than ten feet, you will take some damage. Right. But also you a good are. chance to step in and get a whack. You are mm. still free to just. Uh, I'll action. dismiss the wall of ice. Okay. Yeah. So that you don't have to go through yeah. cold mist. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's free action, you know, so no problem. Um, I would like to step out of the field. Yes. Uh, step back behind Lucius. Five, ten. ten. Just so I'm out of there for now. Okay. Um, and then um, I'm just going to heal myself for a little bit more with okay. me on hands. Okay. Um, I'll do... I'll do 30 healing. Okay. That's my action. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Bam, bam. Anything else on your turn? I think that's me done for now. Thank you. Mm, bonus action as well, right? A bonus action? Yeah. You, you will take damage from the thing if you do it, but yeah. you can. I was thinking of Misty stepping, but... Yeah, I'll Misty step 30 feet towards Quill. Oh. Uh, okay. How many stacks of Magic Field do you have? I think I have just the one. Just the one. I lost them, sure. yeah. So it's going to be one point of force damage then. Okay. Would it have been added while she was downed? Uh, yes. So it's probably another one in there. I think you would have had two then. Two more points of force two, damage. Okay. Um, so what, right above? So I'll miss you step just, just, yeah, just in front. You can move that because well. I'm checking something here. Uh, yep. Thank you. Yep. Uh, at the end of your turn, Sentry, as Ayla is currently paralyzed next to Callus, he's going to take the opportunity to make an attack against Ayla. If it hits, it is automatically a crit. Oh, shh. I forgot about that. I think it's still here. Uh, where's it stats? Mm-hmm. It's a low roll, but I think his attack is high enough. Uh, yep, that's still going to be high enough. 25. Ugh, yeah. So this is going to be... Is that long? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maths. Just uh, sound it out. I take no. short maths. Uh, I know that's pronouncing. 42 points of damage to Ayla. It does get, some of it does get halved. Um, okay. Oh god, hang on. Uh, which is that? 146 right now. I'm work this out because technically some of it is halved and <laughs> some of it is not. You're saying more numbers helping? No. <laughs> uh, Number one. 29 total damage. That is with it being halved, uh, some of it being halved. So she takes 29 points of damage from the crit. Um, so Callus, like, taking the opportunity as she's just stood there, just slices across the chest but the blade is struggling to cut through like the the lightning crackling skin um, just struggling to really deal a significant blow Um, as he uses that legendary action uh, we then go to Nova Vija hello Uh, when do you lose a stack at the end of your turn end of my turn everyone loses one at the end of their turn Um, so I have two currently Mm -hmm. Um, so what does that mean I can so if you basically if you move more than 10 feet if you use a bonus action or if you attack more than once, you'll take 2d4 damage. Okay. So it's only a little bit of damage, but obviously if you get lots and lots of stacks. I think I'm within range to summon an echo within 15 foot and then have the echo move 30 foot up to Sure, do you have your, your echo? Yes, I do. You also need to roll for me. Uh, yep. So you, within 15... I would say the Echo would not be affected by the Magitech field, so... Okay, uh, um... 5, 10, 15... Go all the way up five, to Daddy. 5, 10, 15, Daddy. 20, 25, 30, yep, that you can get here. 
Um, it is my regular echo. Um, next question. <laughs> I Hexblade cursed Callus. Yes. Does that still manifest through the echo? Yeah. Yeah, so I still yeah, get so all so that. If you attack through the echo, it's like you are attacking yourself. Third question. I activated the special thing on my sword, but I'm not holding the sword because I dropped it. Mm -hmm. So radiant stuff wouldn't happen. The radiant damage would I would happen. say that uh, normally I would say yes, but yeah, because you're not holding the weapon anymore and he attacks through uh, the echo. You, I mean, you can pick up the blade. Like, I would say that, like, it would probably... I know technically in the rules it's a free action to pick up the weapon, but I think that, like, Kaz would have kicked it away enough mm. to the point where, like, you would have to spend... Time. Time to, like, pick yeah. it up and grab it. I'd say you could either sacrifice one of your attacks to pick it up, um, so, like, instead of, you know, it'd be one of your attacks if you took the extra attack action. Um, or you could just leave it on the ground. So it would have been somewhere in that depth. It would have been somewhere. Field, it's so... enough that, like, it's not far enough that I'm going to, like, roll squares or anything, but it's enough that you have to spend enough time, like, leaning down and grabbing it and picking it up again. Could my Echo pick it up on the way as it runs through? Mm, it could do... What, and the, the idea is, like, throw use... it back to you? No, or, use like... it. The Echo can't hold it, oh. I'd say. Um, in which case, I'm just going to start... Whacking okay. with Echo. Um, so they do have Hexblade Curse though, so uh, let's go to town. Uh, that is a 20. So is the Echo attacking even though you're not holding the weapon? Yeah. So if that if the Echo uses your attacks just from its base. So if, Echo, if you're not holding the sword, the Echo can't attack with the sword still. Because you're it's not currently with using its own the sword. sword. It, it, it doesn't have its own sword. It's an Echo of you. So right now it doesn't have a sword because you don't have one. You would have to spend time picking it up. That is, that is, it attacks from, you can basically make attacks through it, but it is your attacks that you're using. And right now, you can't attack with your sword because it's on the ground. It doesn't say that detail, though, that it doesn't it, have a sword because It I uses don't have your attacks, it says, right? When you make an attack, you can make the attack through the echo space. That's how it's worded, I believe. It doesn't have its own attacks. It's not a creature. It is an echo of you. Manifest echo. I'm just trying to find the exact thing sure. that says, like, manifest uh, echo, yeah. and then you can attack through it. Yeah. Because this isn't this isn't Unleash Incarnation. No, I know. This is attacking through it. I can, yeah. I can get it quickly. You can use a bonus action to magically manifest an echo of yourself in an unoccupied space you can see within 15 feet. This it echo says, is a magical translucent ray it. image. Okay. When you take the attack action in a turn, you can attack you make with that action can originate from your space or the echo space. So the space. attack you make. Yeah, okay. So it has to be with a weapon you currently have equipped. So... I guess, yeah, can I do that thing of... So I'd have to go back You'd into the field. You'd have to lose one of your attacks, yeah. I mean, you, I'd say you can pick it up, like, without having to enter the field. I'd say, like, you can, okay. like, it's it's skirted enough on the stone. You're, the punishment is that you, he disarmed yeah. you. You're going to lose one of your attacks. So does that mean I get my 1d8 of radiant energy now that yeah. I have my stone? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. But you're just going to lose one of your attacks to do it. Cool. Um, so I have two attacks now. Sure. Um, so, ugh, that is a 15 to hit. 15 is not going to be enough. the old roll. <laughs> Natural 20. See? Woo! Plays off. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to hit. So that is the crit damage of 1d8 plus 7. So 15. That's d8 plus 7 max, so 15 already. And then does it get the radiant, the 1d8 radiant? So you get another 8 from the radiant. Six you go to 23. from the Hexblade Curse. 6 from Hexblade Curse. 29. And now you would roll a d8 and another d8. So roll two more d8s. 5 and an 8. Uh, 14. 14, so that goes to 33. 43, if I'm correct, Thomas, you're normally yep. my math partner. 43 points of damage, I believe. Cool. Um, I would like you to unleash... You've this whole time, haven't you? Yeah, I have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unleash incarnate. Unleash incarnate, so you get another attack. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, hey. <laughs> you know all those weeks of like having shit rolls? This is where it comes full circle. It's coming Because now in. you get them multiple times. So, so it's basically, we know it's 29 plus 2d8 is plus your two. crit. So uh, 6, uh, 7, 8. Uh, so 29 plus 8. damage, So yeah. 37. Cool. Two like big hits there. I mean, 
So almost uh, the the echo kind of rushes forward to Callus, who's kind of like striking Ayla and distracted. But the skilled swordsmanship of the echo and like you controlling it manages to find these gaps in his defense. And he's currently keeping himself open. He's still holding this like high grip. Um, and so you're kind of making part of that, which has a point. That's an extra ten points of damage because both of those hits would have done an extra five damage. Oh so, yeah. Nice. Um, oh boy. So. Do I want to action surge? I mean, that's up to you. Keep the streak going. See how many 20s you can roll. I'm going to roll. I, I'm going to action surge. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's another So three. that would be another three attacks because you don't lose one from that. Uh, 14 plus 13 is 27 to hit. 27 hits. Natural yeah. 14. Uh, so <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 points of damage. 21 plus another five because he's in his high stance. 26 points of damage. Not as good. Uh, 13 plus eight. Is 21, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23, 13, 21, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21, just barely. Whew. He hits whilst he's in his high guard state. 13 plus 7 is 20 points of damage. 20 points plus another 5, so 25 points of damage. Um, Unleash oh. Incarnate as well. Well, that's only two attacks. Oh. Yeah, okay. You got another one, and then you can unleash <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, twenty to hit. So twenty does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. So now he like, brings the sword down, kind of parries this next attack, and then one last unleash incarnate. Um, is unleash unleash incarnate free? Is per free. attack action. Yeah. Wow. So every time Nova makes the attack action, she gets to unleash incarnate. Because of action surge, she's technically taking the attack action twice. Oh my oh, god! It's like, a very good combination. I'm like vomit. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's not good. Um, it's gone down again, so... Yeah. So, this time, kind of, the first few strikes, having landed multiple blows, Callus kind of sensing that, you know, this this Echo is, is a skilled swordsman, <coughs> drops the guard and parries, parries, <coughs> as this clash of blades and magic uh, strike and sound across the battlefield. Um, anything else on your turn, Nova Vija? Uh, Pretty good turn. I've done everything. Hell yeah. That was a lot of damage. Uh, That's a lot of damage! The attack drone is going to target the Echo. Uh, it's going to sense that that is the most immediate melee threat. It's going to miss. Good. Good. Um, <laughs> and then, I agree with that. That's great. Uh, Quill is down. Uh, Lucius, you're up though, aren't you? So mm -hmm. It's going to try and use the spell suppression shot again against you, but I think that's going to miss. Uh, that is only a 15 to hit. That will not hit. Lucas. So you watch Woo! as like, yeah, is this like armor or like dodging this up to you it really? It off his chest. So this time kind of, you know, prepared for the attack, uh, it misses and we bring nice. this to Lucius, your turn. Actually, it, it pings off his eyeball like Superman. Okay. No, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lucius. Uh, so you can see, by the way, so one thing just uh, while you're thinking about what you want to do, all of those strikes from Nova's echo, the Tiangong echo, callous, like, the whole fight you've been fighting him, when he had his big, thick armor, almost none of your attacks actually touched him. He was just deflecting them, or the armor was absorbing them. You now see, like, there are scuff marks. He has, like, a cut on, like, his cheek. Parts of his armor look cracked or broken or, you know, in that process. And he's kind of... He's kind of breathing hard at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to step out using 10 feet of movement. Okay, you would get another stack of your Magitech field. Um, so two now. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going to shout to Callus. At this point, I'm just going to dis dispel this field for now. So I'll summon it back at the start of its turn in a different place. That's nice of him. And our makes our biggest enemy ourselves. So fight yourself. And I'm going to cast Prismatic Wall and okay. Dome him. Okay. I'm going to contain him in a dome just on his own. Just lock him into a dome. Okay. Fight your way out of that. Okay. <laughs> nice. Now, here's a, here's a problem. Shit. I'm, I'll Ayla put, is right next to him. I'll put it the echo. between, because it's an inch thick, right? Okay. I'll put the echo in it, sorry. And uh, it's a callus. Okay. So I'll basically, I will scoot in there. So it doesn't lock. have like a range outside of it that does damage, does it? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. There's a hundred foot of, blind, uh, of bright light. Sorry, Nova. You realize that echo could save your life? <laughs> I'm saving myself. With Shadow Martyr. <laughs> Gone there. Eh. Shad yeah, but Shadow I mean, Martyr, that. he's also in a resplendent wall of every color. So. Including colors we didn't even know existed before. Brown. Like, bright light, 100 feet. 
Phantom dim light, light and it, yeah. 100. You Can't and the creatures you designate right. at the time you cast, oh, can pass through and remain near the wall without harm. I choose Echo and Ayla. Cool. What, really? Unharmed! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a ninth level spell. That's Amazing. This is his ninth level spell. Uh, uh, if another creature that can see the wall moves to within 20 feet of it or starts their turn, the creature must succeed in a constitution saving throw or become blinded for one minute. <laughs> 20 feet. <laughs> uh, so he's definitely going to be making that save every turn. Uh, the wall consists of seven layers, each with a different color. When a creature attempts to reach into or pass through the wall, it does so one layer at a time. All the wall's layers, as it passes or reaches through each layer, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw or be affected by that layer's properties as described below. The wall can be destroyed also one layer at a time in order from red uh, to violet by means uh, specific to each layer. Once a layer is destroyed, it remains so for the duration of the spell. Anti-magic field has no effect on the wall and dispel magic can only affect the violet layer. However, the, sh the defense drone is still awake. It's still on the field. Uh, yeah, it could. NC-19. Okay. Wait. I have, I have to beat a 19 to just counterspell it. Anti-magic anti has no effect. Counterspell does affect it. Anti-magic okay. is a specific spell. Anti-magic is built into spell magic. DC 19. So it comes down to this roll. And it hasn't used its re... Oh, it had its turn, didn't it? It also has multiple reactions. Yeah. Because it can own... This is this one thing it can do. So I'm going to roll this. Uh, I will tell you now, if I roll a 13 or higher, it succeeds. 13. Really? You watch. As Lucius, you conjure this glorious prismatic, this <laughs> wall of power. <laughs> I know. But unfortunately, oh, oh, son of a bitch. Damn. it creates a prism, almost like effect around Callus, and as the light kind of hits it, it returns it into a colorless, pale, nothing light. As it, I rolled a 15, uh, plus its modifier that means it succeeds. <laughs> I feel like a compilation could be made at this point. Hey, listen, I try not, I have, I have tried not to use it as much, but this is the kind of fight, yeah. knowing he was fighting a bunch of spellcasters. Uh, are you asking for a compilation of what missed Lucius? Of big spells. spells. Sad Lucius, <laughs> I think yeah. that'll be, um, it's, it's a 170 odd episodes long. <laughs> yeah, it's every episode. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I mean, like I said, like you guys knew that this thing was there. It does yeah. have its ability to count a spell. It has had See, its I turn. I thought past, because I observed Quills, uh, cure wounds yeah. at a higher level, I thought it would be too high a level for it to dispel. 19 Count, is... spell, yeah, DC 19. It basically has 10 plus the level of the spell. Um, it counts spells at a base level, at base third level. So 19 is so to... low to counter a ninth level spell. It is, yeah. Mm. It's The game is not particularly well designed. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the game. Sometimes <coughs> it's kind of broken, yeah. <laughs> and count spell is one of those things. Uh, as are the mechanics for it, um, it sucks. Um, but this is why it's kind of like again, like destroying that thing or making sure that like you know it has you know you know boons or mm. penalties and stuff like to it, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But uh, do I have my bonus action? You do. If I was and dichromancy would go off. It'd be a big dichromancy. Yeah, so we'll dichromancy. Um, Star Beam. Yep, absolutely. How much damage would that so be? So that was the spell level. Oh, that's right, because I haven't fixed this yet either. It's, it's 20 something. It's like a fixed rate because of it. Yeah. 24, I think. I, I fucked it up. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be that. It should be based on the level of the spell, but it's like, I think it's 26 you do. Yeah. Which is still a lot. Free damage. 26 yeah. free damage is kind of great. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, and you still have your best. It's going to be uh, necrotic. Okay. Because yep. Prismatic Master gets to choose. You get to choose, yep. And uh, my bonus action. You see, it also, I would say there is a moment where, like, Callus not looks worried, but is like, hmm, this is a concern. <laughs> As the wall is beginning to frame around him, and then the, the drone is like, hmm. Um, because I would have, well, I mean, also, I will tell you, tell you this technically, he could have just teleported outside of it. Even if he can't see it? Doesn't, yeah. It's some teleport spells don't require you to see where you're going. No, it's yeah. mentioned door and um, vortex yeah. warp. Yeah. Mm. So um, it's a very cool spell. Oh yeah, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looked great. Yeah. I'm That's going the main to thing, right? <laughs> quicken a spell so I can cast it as bonus action, and it's going to be a cantrip. Yep. So that I can do that. That sounds good. And I'm going to throw. At the drone that's that cucked me hard. A okay. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a rock at it. It's a cantor, it's just gonna instantly dismiss it. Throw a rock at it. I don't want that. I mean, can't, it can't block physical stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna. And that's the end of my turn. If you had attacked it with a cantrip, you've already seen that like low level spells, it has a field that it protects itself from. Melee attacks seem to hit it fine, but spells it is protected from. Okay, so. Lucius. Uh, Would you like to uh, throw a cantrip at Callus or the Gundru? If it's counter spelling from that range at ninth level, yeah. Would it waste a just, reaction counter spell just, uh, on a cantrip? Potentially, it doesn't have unlimited reactions, but it does have more than one. And it would be the top of the round. I guess it will reduce its reactions until. It's the extra next turn. content for the compilation. I'm going to throw out my best spell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can only do a cantrip. Yeah. All right. Sure. Bonus action Firebolt at Starbane. Sure. Go for it. Sick. It's, it, 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 it's not going to count as spell or cantrip. Oh. Well, it probably should, because that's ah! a natural 20. <laughs> And I'm going to chromatic control that. Actually, I can't. Actually, it's not a reaction. I can just chromatic control okay. things to necromancy again. Okay. And I'll roll the damage. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, no. Why do I feel like oh. armorless starving oh. is resistant to necromancy? I don't want to cock trot again. Yeah. I don't want to do it. What happened? Callus is going to use his deflect spell energy a bit. <laughs> When oh, Kallus, that thing. When yeah. Kallus is hit by a ranged spell attack, he can reduce the damage by a certain amount. How <laughs> Just much? let me take this. How much Two. damage is it? Was well, that the crit? Because it's you got a crit, right? I got a crit, so that's... So was it 4d10? Yeah. So it's become 40 plus another 4d10. 22. So 62 points of damage. Yeah. You can't, I, you can't stop good. all of it. Uh, in fact, he only reduces it by uh, 21 points of damage. Oh, God, it's still okay. quite a So still was that 41? <coughs> 39 total. You got 42, you said, right? 62. Yeah, 62. 62, so it'd be 41 points of damage, yeah. 41 points of damage. Nice. You watch <laughs> as Callus <laughs> tries, like, this this surging black bolt of power, like, f- fueled by the rage, probably, of, like, ah, like, this magic not being able to strike. Callus tries to, like, almost knock it back with the blade, but it's just too much, and it just overwhelms him. And you see the armor being stripped away as the necrotic energy, very similar to yeah. when the Seed of Hadar broke the construct, like this kind of entropic magic. The Magitek almost seems to react violently to the necrotic energy and it breaks away and corrodes, kind of exposing a lot of his gauntlets, his shoulder pads, like psh, kind of like burning a lot of it away. Um, and you see him, like it kind of pieces of his skin are burnt and blistered uh, as he's like, like kind of resisting it. Um, but it does strike hard. Uh, I like to hit him hard. All right, end of turn. Chrom- that is a now end of turn. Chromatic control is crossed. <laughs> sorry, Tara, I'm sorry. What? I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I will put a point out. If Tom had tried to mass heal, the drone would have tried to counter spell that as well. <laughs> like, it wouldn't have just been, yeah. it's not just you. No, no, I know. I just, yeah, I, it is sucky. Uh, right, Callus on his turn is going to. Looking pretty bad. If it's the top of a round, yes. would we like to take a break? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, Before we do that, though, I'm going to just... I forgot about these vortexes. I'm you gonna can. Roll, see which way they go. That's fine. <coughs> oh, I think that misses everyone, right? It does. Yeah. That one? It depends where this one goes. That's also missed everyone. Yeah, they're, they're gone, though. So at that point, yes, uh, break sounds good. We will take break. We'll be oh. back in five. So close. Yeah. See you then in part two. Stop being my Bye. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to part two. Our champions are still engaged in their climactic battle against Callus Valkyrian. Having fought initially in his heavily armored state, seemingly their attacks not really doing much to phase the Astral Emperor. Uh, they've now reached it, they've caused him to take off his heavier armor, um, increase his speed, and now uh, they've managed to inflict some actual wounds, uh, and the Emperor is beginning to look a bit more pressed in his battle against them. Uh, Having just, uh, unfortunately, countered a powerful spell by Lucius, uh, his his two aiding drones um, still in the field, one badly damaged at this point, uh, it begins at the top of the round with Callus himself. Ayla still paralyzed, Quill still down, sentry. Yes, we still have Ayla paralyzed, Quill is down, down still. 
Sentry is up and has got some good hit points left. Um, yes. Nova yeah. having dealt significantly many uh, many attacks against. Many. First thing Callus is going to do is he's going to drop his high guard stance um, and instead bring the sword down low into a low mm. hunch stance. Mm. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, if it bleeds, we can Then he is going yeah. to... Okay. Uh, is he bleeding? <laughs> uh, he's got like some slight cuts and things like that as well. How is his blood? Um, what color is his blood? Is it purple? It's like red, normal red. Oh, morphal red. Huh. He is kind of disappointing. Who would have thought like <clears throat> being an emperor for like hundreds of years, he would have swapped his blood out for like lightning blue. Purple. 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 Oh, the invisible color that only Lucius can see. Purple. <laughs> Broken, what's broken? Brutal. Oh. oh. He's about to get nasty. Do it. Remind me how diameter diameter is the full width of a circle. Yes, the Do you full, need not the, the thing? Not half the the, 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 the circle. It's the full diameter is the full thing. The full thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it would be worse if it was real. Well, well, I wish I had Madden going this again. This is uh Thomas, don't you mind? Twenty diameter. Oh. Uh, forty, technically. That's perfect. Forty diameter. Twenty. Radius? 20 radius, yeah. It's not bigger than that, is it? What? Oh, he's pushing everyone away? Or... Is that like a force field? No, he's putting everyone back. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Where were you, Sentry, about there? I was next to Quill. Yeah, she was further... I think she was, she was out yeah, of I was, this. I was out of that. I was <coughs> yeah, 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 right literally, yeah. Okay, perfect. Next to go. Then Lucius, you were about here, weren't you? Yeah. So Ayla, Echo, Lucius, and starves himself. Uh, yeah, I can't be bothered fiddling around with it, so I'm just going to do it there. First thing he's going to do is use his Magitek to replicate spell. Uh, and he's going to use up all of his energy to do it as he summons a barrier of blades. Magitek what? spectral blades <laughs> yeah. form okay. a circular okay. ring all around. Uh, you can see kind of basically cutting off the Echo, Lucius, and Ayla. Um, you can pass through it, you can see through it, but they, it's basically like a, a wall of swords and blades <laughs> and axes and halberds oh and all gosh. sorts of weapons uh, as he just kind of focuses and then throws <laughs> out what appear to be like almost like uh, knives, like he throws them out and then they expand out into these blades that then just a whirlwind of, of knives. Weapons. Yep. Um, Blender. And then he's just going to make normal attacks because it's a wall around us, right? There's not blades oh, in the radius. No, the it is a wall, almost like a wall of fire, but it's okay. a wall of swords. Okay, okay. Um, Which is cooler. Now, in theory, I was going to place it so it was constantly hitting Ayla. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, that would be a real... That would real suck. Yeah. You gonna do that? That would be uh, a big suck. Yeah, I am gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Oh. So it's gonna ever so slightly shoot. That's a big suck. More like this. So, so basically, you're gonna treat it so the outer edge of this template is basically... The red line. Yeah, this very outer edge line. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, when a creature enters the wall's area for the first time or starts its turn there, uh, so as it creates it, uh, when a creature enters the wall, so it's on Ayla's turn, it will take this effect. Um, and then Starb's uh, old Callus is going to... It's going to attack. It's going to attack multiple times. What, Ayla? Uh, he's going to attack the Echo first uh, for a 25 to hit. Yeah, that'll hurt. Woof. Uh, we we'll put that over there. You can figure out where they're going to go in a minute. He's then going to attack Ayla with advantage, and any hit is an automatic crit. Yeah, because she's paralyzed. So it hits. Okay. Um, <coughs> so this is going to be... She currently has Master Chief health. <laughs> gel bat, gel layer. Um, mm -hmm. I've got to work this out based on... Because it's Best some of it's halved. Uh, 100? 117. He's Spartan 117. Uh, in his Mjolnir Mark IV armor. <laughs> I didn't watch the uh, Amazon Prime show, sorry. No one has. <laughs> <laughs> it was only revealed in there. John 117. What happens when they piss in the seat? 
it, um, oh, that's actually damage. funny. Uh, she takes seven. This is already halved, so she takes seventeen slashing and then seventeen force. Okay. Uh, so that's thirty-four. Thirty-four. Yeah. Uh, that is already halved. That's yeah, that's I already halved the slashing nice. damage. Uh, so one attack against Tiangong, one attack against Sailor. He's going to attack Ada again uh, for it. Natural one, uh, oh, but he does have advantage. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he hits again. It's another walk from crit. Okay. Uh, I, I said, man, like this is tough. He's not. He's no mercy right now. Uh, so that's going to be. <laughs> She's now on 83. 31. Spartan 83. That's just Bob. She's now on 52. Bob Halo. <laughs> and then, having attacked Halo twice, he's going to leave for a minute because oh. he knows that the blade barrier yeah. might finish her off. And he's going to come and attack Lucius. Oh my god. <clears throat> Can't hit through my AC. What was it you said to him? Fight yourself. I do not need to fight myself, Lucius. I've been fighting myself for a thousand years. You, however. Uh, yeah, well, check this out. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna be a 27 to hit. Yeah. Y'all need therapy. <laughs> Everyone on this on this field right now, therapy. Uh, that's gonna be 20 slashing plus uh, seven force. So 27 total. Force is halved. Oh. Alright, so three, so 23. Okay, he's gonna leave it there for his turn, but he is in his low guard. At Sarvela's turn. He's gonna take a more damage. She automatically fails the deck saving throw. Yeah. And takes 60 10 slashing damage. Ugh, that's disgusting. Ugh. 60 10? No, do not. <laughs> it's my favorite meme, and you know it's my favorite meme. I, it, do it's not, and I know what it is. It's a scientist story. <laughs> 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 Uh, I know your favourite meme is actually who Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh my god, it's damaged. Sonic is dead. <laughs> 43 halved to 21 points of damage. Okay. Not enough to finish her off. but No, but close. Getting her close. Uh, that is at the start of Ayla's turn. At the end of Ayla's 31. turn, she needs to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> wisdom? God. Plus one, I baby. I don't think she can succeed. This one is not uh, primed. Is she 30 feet away from me? Oh, she is. Uh, she is yep. within 30 feet. Plus three. Oh, that puts it to a nine. <laughs> sake. Remains paralyzed. Just like Still paralyzed, being yeah. cut up, just stood there and just. Oh, that's <laughs> horrible. Uh, at the end of Ayla's turn, Callus is going to make another attack against you. Lucius. Whatever, mate. Uh, 32. <laughs> Whatever, mate. <laughs> yeah. That might hit. Uh, so I'll make sure I work it out properly this time. So that's going to be 21 points of slashing, and then 7 for so half to 2, 2, so 23 total damage. Hurting. Get away from all the scary people. The little drone just kind of bzz, still fluttering and sparking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does reach mean you also have 10 feet range on attack opportunity? Yes. Was it within 10 feet of century? Mm -hmm. I would say it was. Opportunity? Alrighty. We're all. All right. Yeah, it does not seem to like register a threat. It just passes over, assuming that it's not 26. able to be struck. Will hit? Hell yeah. Yep, it oh, has right. no protection against melee attacks. I'm presuming you actually want to use your reaction on this. Obviously. Oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank Tom you. just coaching there, like back, no, I just... quarterback <laughs> gaming, like, all right, Sentry's gonna make an attack opportunity. <laughs> Sentry does this. Lucius, you're gonna do this. Die. It's on eleven. Four. Oh, shit damage. Four. I think it's low though. Seven. Twelve. Twenty-two. 22 points of damage is enough. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank oh, thank <sighs> as it crashes oh. down into the ground. Uh, oh, yep, yeah. as it is destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice. You Keela can cool off. <laughs> uh, I have to make a death save. Please do. I can't use that dice again. You can. I can. It. It's my death save dice now. It's primed. <laughs> there was a two. There's a two. There's a it's two. A two. There's a two. There's a 20 yeah. close to that. The 20 is one away. <laughs> that is a failure. That is one failure. 
Can you imagine that? Fuck. Yeah, it happened once. God. <laughs> it's gotta happen again. At the end of your turn, Quill. Turn around. Down strike. On Ayla. Against Ayla. Advantage. He's trying to finish him off. Uh, 24, it's going to hit. Yeah. Uh, he has 31. Okay, he's going to be real mad. She will be. Uh, it's not my fault. Oh my god. I've killed a lot of NPCs and players <laughs> in in playing as them. I don't want this. Fortunately, Ayla would normally go down, but she has her relentless rage, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So how much? She, how much damage? She took thirty-three. Oh, just over, yeah. Yeah. And then. Uh, oh, won't let me scroll. You're gonna have to look this one up, Thomas. Relentless rage. If you drop to zero, you make a DC ten con save. It gets harder each time. That's right. Uh, which she has a plus eleven. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> it works. So she's at one, right? Yeah, she is at. Um, one HP, the yeah. DC increases by five each time. So basically, like, Callus turns around, dashes past you, Lucius, move in so quick you don't get the opportunity to attack, and just plunges the blade, like, impaling Ayla, like, through the stomach, like, <laughs> and pulls it free. Do you think this will be enough? Do you think this will be enough to defeat Hadar? Ah, uh, sentry. Right, um, <laughs> cool. Right, I'm gonna not panic, I'm gonna heal Quill, um, and get Quill up. Okay. Uh, so you get 20 lay on hands points from me. 20? Yeah. Um, cool. Um, and then I'm going to bonus action Spirit Shroud on Starbreaker. Thank you. Okay. That'll give me an extra D8 of radiant damage when I attack. And that's just constant, unless I lose concentration on it. Okie dokie. And then I'd like to move... Um... Now keep in mind, yeah, the blade barrier is there. It's the outer ring. Yeah, I like to rings. move sort of close to Ayla, but like where that wall is next to her, sort yeah. of behind there, just for a little bit yep. of cover, and that'll be my turn. Yep, okay. okay. Yep, so it's action, bonus, move, done. Done. All right. Nova Vija. I'm going to cast Vortex Warp on Ayla. She can willingly fail. Yep, she will. Um, constitution throw and I'm going to teleport her next behind Quill. <laughs> Range is 90 foot, so. Okay, calls in that space. Uh, so you watch as, how does this look like for Nova? Because I think it's not the first time you've used it, but this is the blade, like you're kind of like creating something with the effect I feel the like almost like a little bit of Doctor Strange. It's kind of like, um, like I use the blade to cut like a portal in reality and it just like, it maybe even causes her to shimmer yeah. and then just like, actually no, like a teleporter. Let's Star Trek this. I like Star Trek. We're gonna, it's a teleporter for no, Star so Trek. You kind of like raise the blade, up, creates that kind of column-like yeah. light effect. Yeah. Um, you make a beam up. Mm. Beam up and then beam down. And then beam mm. down, yeah. yeah. Uh, you see, uh, yeah, you, you succeed that. Like Callus is almost readying another strike and then he sees this effect and he just turns and looks directly at you because he knows he's doing this. And it's just a nod. Like, yep, that was the right move. Like, save your friend. Um, anything else on your turn, Nova? I will bonus action. action second wind because I'm real crunchy. Um, and yeah, I guess just uh, I can move away from the drone. Certain, I just don't want to get near that vortex thing for it to twat me upside again. Uh, I will tell you now, though, that vortex thing will actually go away at the end of Lucius' time. You've seen it, it doesn't last very long. It kind of appears for two turns and then it goes away. Actually, um, yeah, can I just get away from the drone? I have 30, actually no, because I, go this uh, way? yeah. So towards the south, <coughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, get that there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I will do a little second wind in my own time. All right. Now. Yep, you can do that. <gasps> we jump to... One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The attack drone is just going to try and shoot at you, Nova. This thing cannot hit to save its life. <laughs> Lucius. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think, it's, yeah, I think it's hit with one attack. Uh, I just keep rolling ones and twos. That's fine. Um, so it just kind of hovers and it's like pew, 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 with this little cannon. Uh, we go to Lucius. Lucius is going to, whilst the vortex warp is distracting Callus, mm -hmm. He's going to sprint at Callus. Okay. And he's going to cast on himself at the last second Armor of Agathis. Okay. At seventh level. He's 
It's going to chromatic control it to necromancy. <laughs> okay. So he's got a necromantic pauldrons, mm -hmm. and he's going to rugby tackle Starbin into the okay. blades. Yeah, the arc <gasps> Magathis only goes off when he attacks you. I know, but it's just yeah. for effect. Sure, yeah. And I'm going to just be in his mail. <clears throat> so are you trying to, like, shove him? Yeah. All right. Make Shoulder a, barge. Uh, make a, uh, I think this is uh, strength. Yeah, so strength contest. D20, yeah. yeah. D20 plus strength. Can't beat this strong elf. <laughs> That's a one. You charge. Oh, God. And kind of like, it's a bit of like, especially with a one, it's it's kind of humiliating because just one hand. He doesn't even turn around. He just puts one <laughs> hand out. You. And you just bounce off of his palm. Like, he's so strong, he just he steps to the side. And you're like, you run into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be that. Mean, <laughs> yeah. But like, you just bounce off of his one hand. He's just like, no. He doesn't even look at you. He's just like, oh, like almost like. It's so mm. cold. Um, it's so cold. Yeah. Anything else on your turn? Um, I'm just going to put that over there. <laughs> bonus action. Quicken spell. Can't, can't be uh, dispelled now. I don't have the slow effect anymore, do I? No, field's gone. Mm, yeah, bonus action. Quickening. A fireball up his ass. You are in melee range with him, it would have disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can still do it though. Absolutely. Here I'm we go, two it. natural 20s. Bam, bam. Two. Oof, I mean. <laughs> so you like try and like conjure the flame, like as he like you well, bounce off him, you try and like launch the fire. See if it can get worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay, sure. No. Okay. <laughs> you try and then conjure the flame, and he just like not as you're conjuring the spell in your hands, he just knocks your hands aside and it just <laughs> launches away from you. Yeah. End of turn? <laughs> That's the end of the turn. Then. All right. He'll turn. He'll finally turn around, and he'll kind of like cast his eye up and down you. He'll just say, "I know that this will hurt me, but I think it will hurt you far worse." Uh, he is going to attack you uh, for a ba -ba 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 -ba, a lot thirty-two. Yeah. Um, it's probably not going to do enough damage to actually break your armor for now. That's going to be fifteen 30. points of bludgeoning. Thirty-five back on him. He takes thirty-five. How much, sorry? Uh, you took only 15. Okay. But as this is his powerful strike, he can grab you, move you, and place you into the wall of the Blade of Barrier. Oh, for God's sake. So he like picks you up as he's like being like, you know, the, uh, the necrotic energy is burning away as his armor, and he just turns and holds you into the Blade Barrier, like by the throat. He's like holding you in it. Uh, as you enter it, for the <laughs> it's gonna be 60, 10 points of slashing damage. Um, as he's choking me and putting me into the blades, he's like, Good! Maybe together we can maybe defeat Hadar! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really learning something today! <laughs> I thought you'd be a bit stronger. <laughs> What's your favourite colour? <laughs> 38 points of slashing damage, Lucius. Oh. Still up? Uh, yep! Just the, the eating, it's, bra it's breaking that's away gone. the necrotic armor. Oh, is that gone? Oh, that's gone, gone. And Did it's you, and cutting into me. Okay, yeah. so he's just holding you there. Yeah. Um, and uh, he does have more attacks, uh, but I think I'm actually not going to use them. He's just going to watch. Uh, he is going to use an action to second wind. Bonus action to second wind. Four, how much is that? Yep. Probably more than me. Uh, significantly more than you, unfortunately. Uh, and then he is going to, yeah, just hold Lucius there and just maintain his grip. Okay. Ayla. Right. Um, I guess still, still, still need to break out. It is a what was it? Wisdom, Wisdom save? saving throw. And still got a plus three from me, I think. Okay. Are you still within range, Century? Yeah, yeah. Move thirty yep. feet. Natural 20. I oh, yeah. think with the plus three, because that would be what, 21? 21 plus three, yeah, 24. 24 is enough. So <gasps> at the end of it, like, hey, like ah! <sighs> you can just see like the lightning is like oh, ready to yeah. tear out of her and she's just bloodshot eyes, furious. Uh, <laughs> everything that has happened. On one HP as well. On one <clears throat> HP, too angry to die. Uh, but that is unfortunately That's the, the end, end of the of turn, turn, yeah. Uh, at... After Ayla's turn, K. 
Callus is just going to punch Lucius in the stomach. <laughs> it's pretty degrading. <laughs> <laughs> 11 points of bludgeoning down. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a three behind him. Oh, damn. In the middle of the blade barrier. Crumpled. <laughs> At least he uh, threw you in and not on. <laughs> no, because he's like, come and get him. <laughs> Quill. How, how high is this blade barrier? Uh, let me check. <coughs> Sorry for... uh, 20 feet high. Oh. Okay, um, so me, I'm back. I've got he- health, he- he- health. Um, There's no anti-magic, bro. No, there isn't. Uh, what's your health, Nevaeh? 29. I don't think I can heal you alongside everyone else. Fo- it's fine, focus on everyone else. Cool, um, <laughs> I will then. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand up. Uh, I'm going to do a fifth level mass cure wounds. Alrighty. I um, can do nothing about it for Hey! <laughs> we happened? got there! And whole person is a. Whole person's gone. She's safe. Second level. Oh, yeah, she's gone. Uh, yeah, but it was all because of Quill. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was all Layla. Uh, and Sentry, technically. And Nova uh, teleporting her out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she. Well, yeah. Might have died. 21 healing to all but Nivelle. Oh, 21. Ew. <sighs> Thank you. Including Lucius, yeah. Back Lucius, up. <laughs> you're like, you get like, <clears throat> like you're blacking out, you get thrown on the floor, your eyes are like closing, and then suddenly, <laughs> oh, like <life> magic <laughs> fills you, you're like, oh no. <laughs> oh. My crumble body on the floor is like, Sonic is dead. Me. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool, yeah. <laughs> like, like a family guy character. The family guy one, yeah. Broken up. All right, rise again and again to die. Again and again. You just hear silence sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> like starving turns around. Asking for more, are you? <laughs> no. End of your turn, Lucius? Uh, oh, it's end of course turn. Oh, yeah, it's me. Uh, I, yeah. yeah, I stood up as well, so if you can unprone me. Uh, yeah. Well, how many hit points do you have? I might prone you again in a minute. <laughs> oh, for fuck. 41. Well, you are not actually terrible. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to use uh, Kavis' legendary ability to replicate spell uh, and cast a fourth level magic missile. Oh, for... <laughs> on Quill. <laughs> so, that's three. I mean... Oh, uh, spell. All right, go for it. What level? Fifth level. All right, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's to, like, see him like, pull up like a kind of wrist launcher and all these magical bar- like kind of missiles go to launch out of it. And Lucius just on the ground. What is it just like... Rah! <laughs> like, do you Fuck s- you, stop <laughs> He's like, I thought... He like looks back like, <laughs> you should not be up. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, sentry. Um, I would like to... If I, misty, if I misty step into the barrier... You don't take any effect from it, yeah. It's only if you pass through it. Okay. So teleporting through is fine. I'm going to teleport through to Starbay. And oh! Teleport go toe-to-toe with... Where do you want to go? Like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, nothing personnel, kid. Yeah, okay. let's do it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's kind of, like, half looking this way at the moment. Yeah. So it's, like, to his side. Hell yeah. Um, right. Yeah, so you teleport through, misty step, and then, okay. what, two big swings? Two big swings against this yes. boy. Right, he's right, like right, looking okay. at Lucius, who just counted it, and then Sentry just... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything, anything to boost it? Uh, if you want to, I mean, 16 is pretty low. Yes, it's not going to do anything. All right, okay, so the first attack he does kind of... Come on! He says that. Motherfucker. 20. Do you have anything to boost it? Uh, do I have a thingy left? Let me see if do you have a purpose or anything? Purpose left. I've got driven to purpose left. You said it was a D6. D6. So it's D4. It's a 1. So 21. That's, total 21. 21. That's, That's enough. enough. Yeah. Oh my god. That's why I was like, yeah. <laughs> do you oh, have enough? Oh my god. He's, he's, he's currently in his unarmored form, it's 21, or in his lesser armored form. I swear to Christ. Right. <laughs> Let's hit this bird! <laughs> Right, I'm feeling that. <laughs> oh my god. I think everybody's feeling yeah. that. I'm feeling that a little bit. Like. Two. Three, so that's one, two, three. I'm pretty happy with my rolls today. And one more. The blade wall, the concentration. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Technically. Because I've used. Because it's magic tech, there's some, there's slightly different rules. But he still will, can potentially lose the spell if he takes a certain amount of damage. 
device gets hit. <laughs> but it's basically, that... it's, it has to be above a threshold <laughs> of damage, and then it just goes. 24, 27. Is this the threshold? It could be. 39 damage for that one. 39. That was a level three divine smite. 39 points of damage. And because I hit him with Spirit Shroud, um, he can't regain any hit points till the start of my next turn. And he has his, has his speed reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay. So we watch as Sentry pulls back Starbreaker and slams this effect into him, uh, slams the spear into him with other sun, a surge of guardians rushing forward, almost like holding him down, right? Because of the spirit yeah. shroud, like they're kind of slowing him down, um, preventing, like absorbing the energy from any sort of healing um, as they're kind of pressing down on him um, as he just takes this, you know, massive blow to the chest. And you see that most of that armor is now cracked and broken, um, still on there, but like heavily damaged. And the blade barrier does go. Nice. Uh, I, I physically don't want to muck, like yeah, remove yeah, yeah. it, so we're just going to pretend it's not there from the map. Uh, but yeah, you watch as the blade barrier dissipates sentry. Cool. Awesome. End yeah. of turn? Yeah, I'm going to turn and stay close to Lucius. All right, he's going to turn around and whack you with his last legendary action yeah, then. bring it. Because uh, you hit him pretty hard. Uh, 23. Yeah, that'll hit. Oh, still going to hit. Uh, four. Uh, 12. 24 slashing plus oof, 11 force. So 35 cool. total. Nice. So he turns around like, and you can see like now that blow, like he's been like losing his breath and he's like looking injured. He's like holding his side and he kind of swings that one handed at you and he's kind of holding his ribs. You think that like that last strike might have like fractured something or broken something. Nice. Cause he's definitely like, ah, 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 it's been a long time since I fought like this. Nova. Uh, I am going to manifest my echo. Uh, so 15 foot from me and then moving 30 foot to him. There's no blade barrier. Uh, and that is 10. 10. So that is. Uh, harmony, I think. Harmony, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's harmony because I can't yep. I can't yep. find I'm the exact that. page right now. I'm happy with that. So that will uh, uh, give me two d six of an element of your choice. Yeah. Uh, I think it has to be from one of four. It's like bludgeoning, fire, lightning, or cold because it's the four different element types. It's like earth, fire, wind, water. What haven't I seen? What what have I seen? I, so I've lightning seen is affecting him. Lightning is affecting. Him. Lightning is affecting. Ayla's yeah. been striking him with lightning, and it's no longer. It was the armor that he was wearing before that was resisting it. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 will not hit, unfortunately. 23 to hit. 23 does hit. Um, so that is 13 plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. On top of Plus 13. Oh, 21 plus 13, 34. Okay. Yeah. Some of it, it does seem that as he's in his low guard, some of that damage is really being reduced. Not all of it, it's not half or anything like that, but there is a, a small amount of damage being absorbed as he's in a guarded stance. 21. 21 just barely hits. Uh, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 points of damage. So you watch as Art, like he's holding his side, you send forth Harmony, this version of Harmony, but wielding the same sword as you do, who strikes into Callus twice, almost catching him off guard as he's confused by this sudden new appearance. Um, and you watch as like those two strikes like cut deep into him, like you almost plunge the blade into his side like he did Ayla, and he's now like, Ugh! you can see like blood dripping down like his side, um, and he's looking pretty rough. Unleash Incarnation, my last one. Okay. I have three. All that's right. my last sure. one. Oh, that's right, I missed your first attack. 19, it's a crit. Woo! <laughs> so it's going to be a big one because I've got to add the 2d6 to it as well. I don't know where to start with the math. <laughs> you want to work, you can work the math out if you want to, but I'm going to tell you, you don't need to because I know that this is going to do enough. Hell yeah. <laughs> so as the incarnate, he like stumbles, like looks kind of confused for a moment, like puzzled. Um, and then quick as lightning, like with this burst of lightning, uh, Harmony kind of just dashes past and swipes and like cuts into Callus and you see the last kind of bits of his armor breaking away as he stumbles and he collapses down, um, kind of holding his breath. I'm guessing, was that lethal damage or are you trying to do non-lethal damage? Um, 
because that would be a, a potentially a killing blow. Oh my god. I don't. I mean, I don't know if I'd kill him, but maybe knock him unconscious. Oh, no, that'd be non-lethal damage. Yeah. yeah okay. So kind of like maybe like the, she dashes the harmony echo dashes past and on the back swing kind of brings it round into his back and he kind of arches his back like ah and like slams down, um, yeah. All goes still for a moment. Can I? You can't. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and he pulls pushes himself back up now, and this is a different calendar. The armor breaks away. You just see this bulging chest of muscles. His hair now completely wild and loose. The blade, the dull blade of Tiangong is just dropped and left on the ground. And he just kind of <clears throat> And there's like a wild joy to him. Yeah. It has been a thousand years since I have fought a battle like this. It reminds me of my youth. Yes! Yes! <laughs> By Gideon, I am not done. Do you think Hadar will be this easy? No. This fight's continuing. Oh, <laughs> I should have killed him. I should have killed him. <laughs> I mean, I think even then. End of turn. Maybe. Uh. Sorry. That was your last unleashed. That was my last. So that's all I can do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Luscious. But I will say there is there is a wildness to him. Um, Can I do some? The music just builds. The health bar refills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Insight cool check. Sure. Let's see what is absolutely. Going on. It's like you make a. Fr- this will be free. It doesn't cost you anything on your I'll turn. Just get all my dice out of that. Not much insight. So it's an eight. An eight. He, he looks, looks angry. He looks. <laughs> he looks. Well, he is clearly angry in a, in a kind of similar way to Ayla, right? Like there is a yeah. rage here, but there's also like not quite joy, but like satisfaction. It's not hard to read that. There's like, he's not trying to be deceptive. You can't get any cl- like more intelligent insight into what might be going on, but you don't think that this is an act. Like this is almost like maybe everything before has been a little bit of like a restraint, like an act. And now he's been like, yes. He's been challenged. Yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> this is Let great. me see how truly strong you are. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw a cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Tickle him. <laughs> Uh, chromatic orb, fifth level, just to see what's just sure. a little <coughs> seeker. Sure, yeah, go for it. Roll. Test the uh, This gun drone, by the way, when that all happens, when the armor broke, the drone just fell out of the sky and just. Oh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, it will still hit without his armor. Yeah, still hits. <laughs> He's just Sephiroth in it right now, isn't he? Yeah, like he is literally just wearing like his like uh, like the leather black trousers and maybe like a couple of plates of his get leg guard armor, but like he has no armor on at this point. He's just this is just his pure reflexes now, but it does just barely hit. Twenty-two. Twenty-two points of damage. Acid. Okay. Xenos. Dichromancy. Chrono Trigger. So twenty-two no, points no, no, no. of ne- uh, what acid damage? Acid, you say? Please. Okay. It's just and then trying to find a satisfying fight. Yeah. <laughs> Ten points of yeah. uh, that. <laughs> Yeah, because don't forget your prismatic mastery it's goes gone, when yeah. you went unconscious, yeah. yeah. Um, so you watch as he like takes it, the acid like scorching his chest, leaving this red glowing like burn mark all over him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just observing like that's what he does, right? How much is it inflicting damage on Oh body? yeah, like it's like burning. Like you can see it like bubbling his flesh and he's just like, he's in pain, but he's just like, it has been too long. I can only picture Liquid Snake. <laughs> yeah, sure, you picture whatever you want. There's many tropes of which this fight is descended from. End of turn? Yeah, I stand up. It's his turn. It's his turn. You stand up, and he's just like... <laughs> Shadow Master! He just punches. Shadow Master! Okay, uh, do you have to roll for that? No, it just blocks the first attack. Just blocks the first attack? Yeah. The Shadow Harmony jumps Fuck, in front, you. because that was a natural 20. Oh! <laughs> So you watch as it was about to like haymaker Lucius, and you just see this like this shadowy figure just like and like. <laughs> Thank fuck. Oh. Lucky. Uh, <laughs> I like him. I like this one. Yeah. Uh, that was at the end of Lucius's turn. Now it is. Now turn. it's uh, Callus's turn. Oh, he shit. is going to reach out and try and make protect. an attack to protect from. <laughs> That's still going to be a. Uh, this would be 26 to hit you, Lucius. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like this though. Everyone's I just like getting in the way. <laughs> Very cool. 
Uh, that is going to be 11. 16 points of bludgeoning damage, Lucius. Okay, I'm still up. But he does this as a powerful strike. He grabs you with that strike. Oh, fuck <laughs> That's such a ranked doll. <laughs> Into this statue, uh, you flew uh, 30 feet. You take another uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> is that enough? Yeah. Does that oh. knock you out? So like, you're like flying through the air, you hit the statue, it breaks the arm off the statue and you just fall unconscious as he does. <laughs> the arm falls and hits you. <laughs> Sentry, he turns to you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and he just like, goes to like challenge you basically. And nice. this is just like, there's no weapons. This is just fists. Yeah. He's just punching at you at this point. Uh, I'll re-roll that because I kind of hit my thing. Uh, that's probably going to miss because that was quite low. Uh, 17. No hit. So you like catch his fist and he's just like, he brings the other one in trying to strike you with his third attack. That probably is going to hit. 28. Yes. Right. 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this rules. This uh, this rules. Uh, <coughs> but you've got like yeah, like, you've fight. got like one of his yeah. fists. Like, well, <laughs> if you wanted to try and grapple him, you could, but like it's, he's not grappled at the moment. Yeah. But for theme, he's like hot. You're holding one of his fists, and he. Just, Can I just hot. say one of got his fists? I just say, there you are, you monster. <laughs> Just... Monster! Yeah. You feel this inside you too. You have the heart of a warrior, the rage of a protector. This is what it means to do battle. <laughs> Ayla's turn. I mean, she <laughs> is at one health, uh, full of rage, probably more so than him, I don't know, uh, is just going to charge in and uh, and go, go swanging as well. All right. She's got 45 feet of movement. Sentry, duck. Yep. Uh, is Ayla still at one? She got healed, didn't she? Oh, she did, yeah. She's at 22. 22. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, you healed everyone but me. Yep, tell Sentry to duck and just swing in. Hammer down. Um, which is going to be... Ooh, that's a... Well, 9 plus 15. Hits. Um, he does not seem that... Like, like Lucius, he just barely... He almost dodged out of the way, but he seems pretty easy to hit at this point. Uh, so D10 like plus it. 13, that's a 10, <laughs> plus 13, so 23. 23 points of damage. On the first one. Yep. Continuing the spin, go for the second hit. <laughs> 27. Uh, sorry, after the first hit, uh, he basically is going to retaliate, he's going to use his reaction, and he just tries to boot Ayla in the chest. Uh, that is going to be a 23. Yeah. Uh, she's going to take... Oh, low damage, uh, and she's going to half it anyway. 11, so five points of bludgeoning damage, but more importantly, it kicks her away. Um, oh. So the second attack might not be able to reach. 15, 20, 25, 15, 30, 35, 40. She's only got like five feet of movement. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she can, like, she's, so it's like the first attack, and then as she's bringing the second one in, like whilst he's almost like holding, Sentry's holding his fist, he just turns around, side kicks, sending her flying. I guess she can't use her second attack to throw the hammer, can she? Uh, I would allow it. it. Would this be the using a charge? Yeah. 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 After getting kicked away, yeah, just launch the hammer. <laughs> um, so she basically makes she makes an attack with it because she can throw it. So eleven plus. Give me the total of the attack roll. Eleven plus fifteen, so twenty-six. Do damage, but I'm gonna half it and something's gonna happen. Oh! Oh! Do it! <laughs> I remember another time I controlled roll. Ayla. Can you roll the damage and, uh, roll, got damaged. Uh, the throw does 4d6 lightning damage. Uh, no, that's anything it passes. The, if it, if, oh. When it strikes a target, it does the normal damage, plus 4d6. <laughs> oh, so just regular. Regular, regular damage attack. and then 4d6 lightning at the end. 7 plus 13, so 20. Another 20 points, and then 46 lightning. Ah, uh, that was... Uh, did you already half that, by the way? No. No. Okay. Um, 14... Uh, 18 lightning. Nine. Uh, Nine. So you watch. The hammer, like, strikes him in the head, but as it's passing him with his spare hand, he grabs no, it. No, 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 no. And he's going to spin around, and he's going to hit sentry with it. Hell yeah! <laughs> yes! It's like, a fine weapon! Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> 26? Yeah. 
Uh, how much, <laughs> it's what, 1d10, isn't it, 1D on the 10 hammer? 1d10 plus 9 on the hammer, yeah. Uh, well, it's not Aegis, it's going to use his strength. Uh, but sure. it does do a d6 of lightning damage, if I'm correct. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, so that is going to be Sentry uh, 16, oh, 19 yeah. points of damage. I'm down. Oh, <laughs> he then throws the hammer back to Ayla. He, like, throws it in her direction. Okay. Like, <laughs> The coolest shit. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a way to go down, like oh, yeah. hit by Ail as well. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Uh, me? Yeah. The fuck do I do? <laughs> <laughs> People are down. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Uh, what's the max level spell I have now? Oh Jesus. I have fourth. So I'm just gonna uh, guiding bolt. <laughs> okay. At fourth level. Um, so I need to. Hit was a plus 14 to hit. 21. Hits. Uh, 46 plus 1d6 for each spell. So 5, 6, 76. 6, 9. Nice. 14. Uh, 16. 19. 20. Did I say 76? 26. 26 points of damage. And he use uh, his other reaction. He's got multiple reactions. Uh, to use spell deflection, uh, he's going to take half damage from that. So 26, did you say? Yeah. So he's going to take 13. He then basically he basically catches the spell, turns <laughs> his hands, throws it back at you, Quill. You take the other 13 radiant Hell damage. Yeah. I mean, sorry, but oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> you can see his hands like blistered and smouldering from catching the radiant light. I mean, I, I, if it doesn't hit him, it did hit him. I also get advantage against me because of Guiding Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you both have the effects of it. You're both covered in this, into, like, yeah. light. <laughs> uh, <laughs> end of turn. <laughs> end of turn. Oh, yeah. What, Sentry. Yeah. Get a second throw <laughs> at the start of your turn. Woo! Get that nat 20. Let's go, boys. 18. 18, okay. success. Oh. No good VJ. Um, I'm going to tuck myself a little bit behind cover and then summon um, Echo. Where is Echo gone? Uh, I've got them. Okay, yeah, just summon clo yeah, closest and then, and then yeah. Okay. Um, it is, oh, it's Harmony again. Okay. And then I'm going in, one, two, three. Do I get advantage? You do, for the first attack. For the first attack. Let me just roll that then. Oh, and that one and a nine, but a nine plus 13 is 22. It's. Two. So that is uh, 13. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage. Uh, so it's just advantage on the first one. Ugh. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Oh! 19. What's 12 plus 13? Uh, so, sorry, if you just 12 plus 13 is 25. Yeah, I only did these. You did all of So, what did you get? Uh, 19. 19 plus 13. Yeah, 25. 19 plus 13 is 32. 32. <laughs> and then the okay, third... Just, before you make the third attack, I need to do something. Okay, yep, continue. Uh, you look like he is almost swaying, but just through this pure will, he stand, he's still standing. Uh... <laughs> 19 to hit. 19 will hit. Um, so 13... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. Strikes him. <laughs> like stabbing into him, cutting across his chest. <clears throat> he should be going down. Like looking at him, he's like a dead man walking, but something is keeping him going. He looks over in your direction over at the end of your turn. Trying to hide, Nova Vija. There's no hiding from your destiny, from this final battle. <laughs> <laughs> Leaps yeah. through the air and brings like a smashing strike. He's down got a steel you. chair. <laughs> Put the steel chair down. No, Starberry, not like the top row. Something to hit you, Nova. Do I get attack of opportunity? No. Okay. He's coming at you. He's just coming at you. No, from this. Echo. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. It's a legendary reaction to move and attack. You do not get the opportunity attack. Sixteen points of bludgeoning as he comes down, slamming. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> we go to Lucius, who is unconscious, I believe. Death saving yeah. throw. Oh, that is a 19. 19, success. Kallus' turn. He's going to attack you, Nova. Uh, that is going to be only a 19 to hit. 
Oh, yep, I've got 18. Just hits. Uh, this is with his powerful strike. He is going to hit you for 20 points of bludgeoning damage. He picks you up. I'm down. Throws you next to Sentry. He's going to come rushing in. Uh, who's still up? Ayla. <laughs> Echoes down. I think, you know, I think. Quill's in the background just seeing everyone fall. <laughs> <laughs> Right, He's coming Ayla. for you as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's like terminating charging towards you. <laughs> He's going to hit Ayla. Oh my god, such high damage. Uh... Twenty-seven half. Oh is god, yeah, 13. Half. Yep, still up. Uh, I think. Yep, she is still up, just Jesus. barely. Um, she got a relentless rage anyway. She's gonna strike Ayla again. Ooh, she's got four health. Uh, yep, it hits. Uh, that's gonna be enough. Can you give me the con save for Relentless Rage? Wait, that happens every time? I believe so. Oh yeah, it's now, so it's now... It's DC 12 now, I believe. DC... I could be wrong. 15, I think. Does it go up by five? It goes up by five each Oh, time. if it goes up by five, there you go, 15. I believe. Anyway, um, yeah, five, five, five. She, ooh, plus, yeah, 20. So it's still up. At this point, Callus and Ayla it's just like he's he punches Ayla and she should go down, but she just is up, like just bursting with lightning. She probably is gonna whack him next turn, and it's almost like they are like just two titans just pummeling each other. I hit no bell. The last thing he's gonna hear, like the last attack he's gonna make, Doesn't is he looks America. over. I haven't forgotten about you. Oh no. Champion of Hesper. And oh. stomps the ground and then throws a piece of debris. He like causes a piece of rock to oh. pick up. Uh 20. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Twenty-one points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> I'm still up. Oh. Oh, <laughs> so it slams into you, but that's the last of it. It's now Ayla's turn. Come on, girl. I mean, she hasn't got the hammer, right? She has to. Oh, uh, he it tossed it, it, it back at her. Yeah, she can pick it up. But would it cost an action to? I'd say. I mean, one attack. Fuck it. I I want her to tackle, and just just like punch. Just go punch him. Yeah. And she got an arm strike down just there. Go, just go punch heavy. All right, punch. Um, yeah. An arm strike. An arm strike plus thirteen. That is a twenty-five. It's uh, eight damage. Ayla punches. Callus punches back, using his reactions to strike retaliatory. The two of them punch, punch, punch. Callus is just, his face is just a, a map of bruises and blood. <sighs> the two of them just gasping for breath. <sighs> you are ready. You are strong enough. <laughs> oh! 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 He collapses. Does Ayla do lethal damage? She is raging. Right, like <laughs> Ayla is in control enough of her rage to end it when she wants. But I, I mean, say I think I think, think if, if, would if she's, um, I would say make this a group because Katie's not here. Yeah, Don't yeah, put yeah. it all on Tom. But like, group vote. If, <laughs> if, if if Ayla, my argument is is it's not lethal because after being down, getting back up again, being down, getting back up again, like him, it is just slow. Uh, her energy's running out. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think it's enough, even if it's to What's do What's her con modifier out of interest? Her con modifier is plus 11. Oh, no, DC sorry, would be 20 mod. if she got knocked down again, right? Um, her con mod is plus 5, her saving throw is plus yeah. 11. And it would be DC 20, right? Yeah. For the next one. Is she still up? Uh, if if I had made one more attack against her, Callus technically would have got a reaction if he hadn't gone down. She right. would have failed it and would fall unconscious as well. I mean, but her rage would have ended and she'd go unconscious. Either way, she probably would still just like collapse, right? <laughs> so with it, we're in agreement, non-lethal. Yeah. 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 All right. So you, yeah, she just basically it's it's a punch. It just comes down to this punching match and Ayla with a lightning crackling fist, <laughs> and Callus just yeah gives that last line and then stumbles to the ground. Those of you who are unconscious, do not make death saving throws. Okay. Because in the air, there is a ripple. Bright, prismatic, colorful light, almost like a wave, washes out from the direction of the Halls of Resplendence as a figure. <gasps> as a figure that you all know I've never seen, 
appears. She's tall, maybe nearly as tall as Century Seven, nearly eight feet tall. She wears a white dress that flows around her like mist and cloud, like a nebula. Her skin is made of starlight, dark, but flicked with light and radiance. And her hair defies gravity, floating around her like some amorphous thing. And she's timeless, timeless, timelessly beautiful, but timelessly wise. Those of you who are dying or unconscious, in fact, all of you, are immediately restored to full hit points. Oh. Oh. <laughs> including? Not including Candice. Okay. She smiles, and you see that purple doorway open nearby. And Valor and Maximilian walk through it. Valor sees Callus and like catches, like almost clutches her heart and looks to him at wor with worry, but then looks to you, looks to the figure floating above you, her mother. Siaska just turns. He is alive. Max rushes straight to Callus's side. Just doesn't like, you know, just kneels down and sort of like turns him over, places his head sort of like in a bound position. My emperor. As Siaska turns to all of you, you have done very well. Do you feel that you have proven your strength as he wanted you to? Lucius just bowing. He's got no words. I know I am technically a goddess, but you have done so much for me. I feel we are beyond bowing. And she just kind of smiles. Please, stand, speak with me. You have done much for my world, for my children, for me, my family, she gestures to Valor. It is I who should bow to you. And she will like incline her head and she floats until her feet touch the ground barefooted. They just touch the stone and she just falls into a rest. And she like almost curtsies, like bows in your direction. I'm not worthy of you. You and I are not very different. Sentinel Prime? Yes. Or is it Sentry? Oh. Either. I... Both, I think. Okay. But you and I are li alike. You protect and carry the destiny of a people. You may not be immortal. goddess. I've nearly lost them all too many times. As have I. She just smiles. You can see that even though she's been gone, the memories, you have a feeling that the memories of things like Solvin of the war, they're there. She's not unaware of what has happened over the many years. As have I. As have we all. Including this one. And she even looks in Callus' direction. What do you wish to do with him? Um, Lucius will stop bowing. <laughs> Slowly. To answer your question. Alone, and I gesture to Callus, we would fall. But there's something I've learned through our years of knowing. Everyone around us, together, we will stand. She just smiles. I hope that this time, perhaps, he will have learned that lesson. So, you 
you know, I do not forgive him for many of the things he's done. I do still love him, but I do not forgive him. I know why he did what he did, why he intended to do what he intended. It is through love, fear, protective nature, but it was fear and selfishness. And that I will not forgive him for. The horrors he inflicted upon us, misguided, but I have my own part to play in all of that. If I had dealt with him more directly, perhaps it would have saved many, many lives. But we will need him, you're right. We can only do this together, all living things, in Erois, in the astral space. We have one common enemy. Hadar does not care for laws or honor. He does not try to protect or care or love. Hadar is an ending, cold, empty darkness. That's all it will ever be. Callus may, may be misguided, but he is not that. There is still hope for him. If you are ready, I will bring him back to consciousness. But if there's anything you wish to speak of, to ask me, now is the time. Can I look <coughs> up at the cradle? Mm. What cradle? Okay. Mm. Yeah. The first time <clears throat> you look up, and it is still day, but the cradle has always been present around Erois. This nebula, these northern lights that filter through the air, even during the brightest day, it's always been visible. Most visible at night, but still visible during the day. And you look up, and for the first time, the sky is just blue. There is no shimmer of yellows or pinks or greens or reds. That wave is gone, and it is now still and silent. Do you still hear them, Siaska? The Titans? In a way, yes. They've always been. They are parts of me. And even when I slept, I heard them. I could just not speak to them. They could not hear me. They are within me, but they are also who I am, who I was. Hesper had my curiosity, my protectiveness. Telicus had my rage, my survivalist nature. Kilara was my duty. They all had parts of me in them. There is one whose voice is stilled to me forever. She looks up at the glowing orb of light that is Palador and the Sunship. But he has become his own, his own being. I would have loved the others to have found the same. Some were close, but they just did not have the power, the source of energy needed. But perhaps they will live again one day. But I'm afraid that the cradle took much of what was me and much of Erois unknowingly have weakened me. She looks at you, Lucius. Ethereum. Not quite my blood, but my essence, distilled. It has been harvested and cultivated here on Erois, and in doing so, I know that much of my power is gone. I am not as strong as I once was, and I will never be again. That power is lost to me forever. Not that I mind it, not that I blame the people of Erois for it. Not only did you have no way of knowing, but even if you did, I would not hesitate to give my children, to give the world I created that gift. But it does mean we have much to do. And the battle ahead 
will be the hardest one yet. She like turns and offers a hand to Valor. But Valor takes a hand. We have her. We have you. And now perhaps we have a chance. Valor sort of like takes her mother's hand, kind of stands next to her. I've seen Mother's plan. She shared it with me. We need to travel into astral space. We need to go to Hadar's realm. It's strange. When we fought the Titan, when we, and she kind of looks at Siaska, when we fought Kalara and Zephyr, and I would create that space within their own demiplane for us to fight. I don't really, I didn't know it at the time, but it must have been an idea Mother had or uh, something in me that prompted me to think that way. The same principle can be used to fight Hadar. The Far Realm is deadly to mortal minds, even to immortal ones. But with my power and Mother's, we can create a temporary space, a pocket realm within the Far Realm that you would be safe in. You would need to protect us both. But if we can maintain that field, as mortals, you might have a chance at defeating Hadar. And without a divine spark in you, if one of you were to defeat Hadar's physical form in the Far Realm, there's a chance that we may be able to break his hold, break his power. And you wouldn't inherit it. You wouldn't become the next Hadar. If we can do that and escape, we can leave him locked in there, powerless. That's what she wanted to do before, when she was stronger. She wanted to go there with father and do the same thing, create a pocket realm and have him fight Hadar as a mortal. But he wouldn't risk it. He wouldn't risk her. Because there is a real chance that none of us would make it back. Even if we defeat Hadar, even escaping the far realm poses threats and dangers. We might not make it back. So you could, in theory, create a cage strong enough to contain a creature that is able to eat away at the edges of every universe it ever touches. Not a cage, no. The Far Realm already is a prison. The difficulty is that Hadar is so powerful with all the divine souls and the divine energy it's consumed in the worlds and the people that it's eaten, it's able to reach out between the bars, if you think of it that way. What we can do is Mother and I can create a, a space, uh, a bubble uh, within the ocean of the Far Realm, an air bubble, almost, a bubble of magic, within which, at least for a short while, you would be, I don't want to use the word safe, but you would be immune to the effect of the Far Realm itself. You'd still be in danger, but you wouldn't be immediately driven mad or have your minds explode from psychic energy. Within that bubble, if you can fight and weaken Hadar, then we can escape and leave him trapped in the prison that already exists, but he won't have the strength to reach out beyond it. He won't have the strength to break free again if we can find a way to disrupt his strength. But that's the part Mother doesn't know, and Siaska nods. We studied him. I knew all of the gods that he devoured. I don't know exactly what to do when we get there, but I do believe that there must be a way to, to weaken him in some form. Or draining him of his fighting energy may be enough, but there may be some other trick to it, but we won't know until we're there. This is why, this is why Callus did not want to do this. He felt it was too great a risk. But I do believe it may be our only chance to be free, to be safe. We do have a loose end, however. Zarkira. Ah, uh, Zarkira. I am not... Whilst I was asleep and dreaming, I caught only glimpses. Mainly when my son, she looks at Quill, came to your rescue. It's strange. Has Callus told you much about her from before? No. 
she was his best friend. She was his confidant, like you yourselves are. They traveled together, a group of them. Heroes, everyone. She was a wizard, a powerful mage. They, she saved his life, he saved hers. They all did. But there was always a hunger, a hunger for power. At first, it was the desire to have the strength and the knowledge to protect her homeworld, which was destroyed by Hadar, much like Gideon and many others. But it quickly grew from that, from the sounds of it. And now that hunger has become an obsession and has likely allowed Hadar to enter her mind. She is a threat, one that must be dealt with. But I imagine that Hadar has pulled her back to its lair. We will need to go to them. Is there anything else? My champions. An endless amount of questions, but we do not have the time. I wish we did. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm here <coughs> for the whole journey. Do we have time at least to say our goodbyes? She looks at Valor. I believe so. Your ship, this Astoria, it is powered now, yes? Mm -hmm. I suggest you find a crew and an army to travel. But it will take some time. Callus will ensure that his fleets accompany us, protect us, get us to the far realm. But you have time. Days. A few days. No more. We must not delay. And she looks up. He knows I'm awake. I can feel it. His eye is upon me. And he hungers. Valor is still coming into her power as a divinity. It's hidden from him, mostly. Uh, a small piece of divine energy. But I am like a beacon to him. He can taste, savor me from even this great distance. He will accelerate his plans. He will push through Callus's forces to come here. We must go out to meet him, to buy Aroes as much time as we can. So a few days. Okay. Gather your strength, gather your forces, recover, say goodbye. It may be your last chance. If I may, she looks at Callus. Go ahead. She nods. She goes over. Rather than using a magic, she goes over. Maximilian is just like, you can see the look of like, just confusion, but also like torn loyalty. Like he's looking up at this figure and he is in awe of Siaska. Like he is just, wow, like this incredible being is before me. But he's also looking down at Callus and just like torn between these two loyalties. And he almost like has his hand on his blade as Siaska approaches, like unsure what her intentions are. And he says, please, lady, goddess, whoever you are, please do not hurt heard him. Siaska just smiles. Ah, oh, loyal knight. You have no idea. I have no intention of hurting him. He's been doing that to himself for far too long. She just gently lifts a hand and like Max, almost involuntary like step stands up and like backs away. Like, almost confused that he's doing it. Not mind-controlled, but, like, so calmed by her presence that he's just like, yeah, there's no more threat here. She leans down. She sort of almost leans over Callus for a moment. Wake up. Just breathes a small bit of breath. And Callus, at ragged chest, he's been breathing this whole time, having just been knocked unconscious, but... And his eyes kind of flutter open, bruised, broken. She doesn't heal him. He just looks up. Uh, uh. 
and then when he sees it. All that rage that you'd encountered in that part of the fight, but also that coldness that you'd encountered before, it just vanishes. There are tears. He tries to keep his face tight and controlled, but just the cheeks become wet. And you just hear the briefest whisper. My stars. She looks down. I can't forgive you for what you've done. But I know I had a part to play in all of it as well. Let's finish this. Come with us. Come with me. Come with your daughter, these champions. Let us end this. He kind of sits up. He just looks at her. Just adoration and guilt and sadness. For you. Anything. And that's what we're going to win today's episode. Because uh, I can't keep this in anymore. Damn. So. Ugh, sorry. You know me? You got me actually going. upset. No. Jesus. I love the emotion. Oh, I love so it. Good. Real good. Oh. Thanks. I'll use those in a minute. Uh, but first, I've got to wrap this up. Hey, thank you guys so much. That's going to be the end of this episode of High Rollers Erois. A big, it. big fight. We did it. And then a nice reunion. <sighs> hey, you guys enjoyed that last phase? <laughs> yeah. 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 That yeah. was one of the best fights. Oh so my fun. god. <laughs> I'm glad because like I knew how low you guys were getting. I was like, ooh, it's gonna oh, be no, rough. keep it coming, keep yeah. it coming. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah great. just it felt like like down to zero health, but just refusing to die. Yeah. <laughs> just That's well, the fact that it. it came down to the two people who were just too stubborn. crazy to die, too yeah. stubborn to die. Just, just pounding on each other. Final satisfaction um, of a Good fight for once in that. I am God gutted knows how that Katie couldn't be here to be the yeah. one to roll that, but like, I hope she feels glad she that did. Ayla was badass. I was just thinking, I want to message her after this because she did say to me, I really wanted to punch Starbane in the face today. And I'm like, oh my Baby, God. She got it good. That's <laughs> yeah. how it ended. You got that times yeah. 10. Yeah. Uh, no, so amazing. Hey, uh, hey. you know. What? <laughs> Do we, uh, you know. Do we level up? Oh, that's a very good point. Because it would be, we're level 90. It would be the last time you'd ever ask that oh, question that's really if you did, you know. Oh, man, yeah. Oh. Do we get the last level? Do we? With that final battle against Callus Valkyrian, who fought you with everything he had, using many of the tactics that you know Hadar will use against you, you feel, at this point, this is as ready as you will ever be. And you all level up to level 20. Holy shit. 20! <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah. You are now, shit. without a doubt, the champions of Erois. You are its last hope. There is no one stronger than you who can fight this enemy. Oh. Not even the gods themselves. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that <was> it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, what was his oh. name? Hesper something? <laughs> With that, you are Hesper. I am. You become. will reach level twenty, and next week when we pick up, I will tell you this now. You're going to have some time here on Erois, but then when we, when you leave to go to astral space, that will be it. There will be no turning back. This is video game. If you can can't save any more, <laughs> so make sure for next week and maybe the episode after, if there's anything you guys want to do here on Erois, I want you guys to think and write and send me a message and say, mm. Sentry wants to do this, Nova wants to do this, Lucius wants to do this, so I can prep stuff, so I need to know what you guys want to do, okay? For the next, and that can be up to like one or two sessions, so feel free to like, if there's a bunch of stuff you want to do, I'll divide it up and we'll split it out, but mm -hmm. make sure you think. You've also got to think, who are you going to get to crew the Astoria? You need to decide who you want to take <laughs> with you into the what will be a epic battle. So think about that, all of those things to consider, all right? Oh, God. But with that, that is probably going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time. We love you. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Bye.